Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to Viti sent 11. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to Bop Show. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to Fat Heels underscore. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to Mr. Joxxer. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to Trout1. Oh, well that... That, that's... okay. I didn't Reverse expect to come back ninja gifted a tier to one that. Sub to anime which uh, girls uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Reverse Ninja. <laughs> Holy moly. Thank Reverse you so much, man. That is, that is very helpful. To Frozen Throck. Very, very helpful. Reverse um, corn ninja gifted a tier one <laughs> I did not HS expect 75. to come back to that. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Reverse Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to end Ball. And I haven't even I was like in the process of uh, doing some stuff and haven't even uh Reverse Update everything yet. But thank you so much for the support, Shaq. I, I hope you showed them some love. I mean, Reverse I'm not hearing the audio though. Reverse <laughs> Let me make sure everything is set up right with the audio. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to Coda 120. <laughs> I know, I know, the, the goal is all messed up. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to Sagan Wannabe. Amazing, man. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to the Okay, I think you guys can hear it, I just can't. Okay. <clears throat> Let me make sure Windows didn't reset my um Reverse devices. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to Travis 13. Dude, I'm a <laughs> Reverse Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one. Is that muted? King J. Yeah, it's muted. That's why. I must have hit mute Reverse on my. Uh... Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to Probus Robes. Oh! I hit the mute button on my keyboard by accident. That's reverse what happens. Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to Bro Day. Thank you again, Reverse Ninja Chat. Show us some love. We gotta get some blobs up in here, man. That's a lot of subs as I update my sub goal. Reverse Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to Andy underscore Pipkin. Reverse Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to Shark Balloons. Also, thanks for the tier three sub, man. I saw that too. Thank you so much. Reverse Sunders Corn Ninja gifted a tier one sub to Tanner DK. Also, thank you, Toasted Wookie. 
I just saw that pop up in uh, my stream elements list. 28 months. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to Hexcom. Wow, man. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to Kerr 94 Thank you, excessively salty. Thank you, excessively salty for the uh, the tier one. Why am I not getting the hype train for that? That's a hundred gifted subs. Weird. Thank you so much for the fifty-six years. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one so sub to Frost Tyrus. Chat, show some love. I tried to stop it, but it didn't want to stop because the blobs don't stop. It should be Reverse a hype torpedo, I know, man. Gifted a tier one sub to I Lawliot. Thank you again, man. As that's, that's that's a huge surprise. An absolute huge surprise. I, I mean, it took us back over 500 sub points, too. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to clock. We were like at 400 and something, and now we're back at 500. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absa smurfly amazing. Reverse underscore ninja gifted a tier one sub to quantum 17. Quantum 17. All right, I'll update the timer for the uh, Reverse in welcome everybody. Sub to heroes never deked. I hope you all are having a good day so far. I didn't I didn't say welcome. That's very rude of me. I hope you're having a great day so far. I hope you had a good day yesterday. Reverse ninja gifted a tier 1 sub to my soon. I was not um I was not streaming yesterday. But uh, we are back today. Uh, we took care of a lot of things, including my taxes. Yes, we uh, we finished the taxes, but I haven't filed them yet. I probably I'm probably gonna do that on Monday or Friday. I don't know. Um, depends on if Twitch um, if Twitch issues my monies. I'll do it on Friday. If not, I'll do it on Monday. Because when I pay them, it's going to zap my big account. So I want to make sure that I have enough to, you know, live through the weekend. Nothing hype about 100 subs. So boring. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Absolutely yawnish. So much yawn. <laughs> oh, man. So, yes, we are flying to answer Toasted Wookiee's uh, sub message. We are flying in an aeroplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, we haven't done this in a while. It's been a little bit. I must admit, it's been like uh, since the CR... I can't even remember the name of the new airliner that came out. Since that came out, that was the last time we streamed it. Um, and I was pretty excited about that, too, that new airliner. Uh, it... Um, it turned out to be pretty good, but I found out we had some issues with it. And uh turns out it was due to a uh, conflict with the CRJ, the working title CRJ stuff. So removing that mod would have addressed all my issues that I had, but I haven't flown it since then. How about dust off my yoke? I haven't used my yoke in a long in a while. Uh I've been flying mostly just like kiss that. I've been flying mostly Airbuses and stuff, which are stick planes. And uh, the yoke just doesn't work on my desk. It just... I love the yoke. It feels good, but it's just like it, it, it conflicts with my, my desk setup. So uh, I really haven't been using it that much. M mainly for that reason. The sticks work much better for my desk setup. The yoke takes up my entire desk, and I just have no place to put it, honestly. Um... 
So yeah, that, that answers that question. <laughs> but uh, I, it is a nice yoke. I'm telling you, if you want to talk about yokes, I doubt there's anything better. All right, I got my old cup of coffee here, and I'm gonna I got I gotta shift some stuff around because my Elite Dangerous joysticks are kind of in the way. So we're gonna put this over here for now so I don't spill it. I need to grab my thruster, thrustmaster, thruster, and I want to make sure I don't upset the balance of the force on my desk. You were the chosen one! Put that there. That's actually a better spot. Okay, I want to make sure this doesn't tangle. That was going to tangle. It takes two to tangle! <laughs> tangle. Tango, tangle. And that's going to roll. I got a lot of little crap on my desk. But we're getting it all situated. It's okay. It's just a matter of just managing wires and making sure they don't overlap in funky ways. And we're also 3D printing Lucio. Check him out. Lucio! And all you see is a giant plate of supports, but uh, this is a Lucio... Uh, full body print from Fotis. What's his face? <laughs> I don't remember the guy's name. Fotis Met from Fotis Met. He did a. Uh, he also did a Road Dog. Uh, let me show you the Road Dog one first. He did a Road Dog model that we printed, and I posted that to my Instagram. Uh, let's just give you guys a brief look at that. So here's the uh, here's the Roadhog, and uh, it, it's a really really good Roadhog model. It's him sitting down in his sitting position, uh, really really good. So there's a similar one with uh, Lucio, and this is what I'm printing right now. It's not gonna look like that, obviously. It's not gonna look like that, but it's gonna be a, a 3D print. Uh, his is painted. But uh, it's the it's the hippity hop frog skin from Overwatch. Overwatch. So that's what's being printed right now. If somebody asks, you guys will tell them. Who's printing on Wednesday? this year. All right, cool. Everybody is on the same page. But yeah, that that honeycomb uh, yoke. Now the throttle box is more attractive than the the yoke to me. Well, actually, if you look at the throttle box, the throttle box is kind of chunky too. And if you if you've ever if you've used one, you you, you can kind of feel it. Like they can shave off a few inches of this. It doesn't have to be that big. Because I mean, it's got some weight and it's got some girth to it, but they could they could streamline that design a little bit. And I think it's more made for uh like. What I like to call the flight stations or the, the flight chairs where you can put stuff, you can mount stuff on top of it. And, um, I don't know. Hey, chauffeur, welcome. So we did install, we reinstalled the, um, those unit devices and we reinstalled the A320 mod. So, uh, I got the latest stable of that. I looked at some of the change log. It's not a whole lot that's new. What am I doing? I'm sitting here talking. We're having a discussion. Uh, I looked at the change log and there, there wasn't a whole lot of things new. Um, 
I think some of the things that that were in experimental last time I played um have made their way to to stable, I think. They might be from it might be it might have went from experimental to uh developer because there's three different trees. Um So I think that's what happened. I think all my controls are set up. I need to double check them. Yeah, they're all set up. Yeah, but in the top left. My chat has failed me again. Guys, I said if someone asks... You tell them what I'm 3D printing, and nobody said a thing. Come on, chat. You got one job. I am 3D printing a Lucio from Overwatch. Y'all got to help me out, man. You got to help me out. Thank you again, Reverse Ninja, for the 100 bomb. That was crazy. That was nuts, man. Absolutely smurfly insane. I realize he's uh probably not here, probably working or busy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be uh we're gonna be flight simming. And it looks kinda like this. Uh and we're also gonna be 3D printing. Now if you want to see the printer, there is a channel point reward like during the flight. Occasionally, I'll show this scene. You know, I'll show you guys what's going on. And, but if I'm not showing this, there is a channel point where we reward to show the printer. So if I'm on this scene, I'll demonstrate. Uh, it says show 3D printer. And then that happens. So you can do this at any time. I think you can't do it on the break screen because the break screen is actually going to be showing, actually going to be showing the printer. So we'd have two printers. We'd have printerception. Uh, and it shows for like a minute. So it shows you what's printing. You get to see what's there and then it'll go away after a minute. I'm here taking a sick day. So just lurking. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you're feeling better. If it's one of those sick days, you know. Sometimes I take sick days just to recuperate. Understood, man. And my wife told me what happened last night. Thank you for, for gifting her some subs, too. She woke up and told me. Well, she didn't wake up. I woke up and she told me. Uh, so thank you for hooking her up, too. That was a... Uh, yeah. That's a real one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope you feel better, man. I don't play Overwatch. I instantly forgot the name. It's also in the title. So it says Lucio 3D print in the title as well. Yeah, she was up late last night. She was up pretty late. I think she said she stopped streaming at like 5 a.m. I was like, wow. I think she told me she clock clocked a seven hour stream or something. I was like, wow. Meanwhile, I was sleeping. It was a long day yesterday for me. Uh, I did a lot yesterday. Uh, so I conked out around, I don't know, like 10 or 11 o'clock. I think that's when she had, she had to, like just started streaming around that time when I was going to bed. And uh, she was it all, all into that scavengers, man. She loves that stuff. What is this? Uh, a lowrider yoke mounts. So it goes under your desk. That's an idea. You could 3D print that. <laughs> it's 
true. <laughs> I mean, I joke, but it's true. <laughs> you, can, you can 3D print that. <laughs> It doesn't look like it works with the Bravo throttle, though. Yeah, they have some, uh... You can probably modify it for it, because the, 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 the Bravo throttle has, like, the same screw configuration as the Honeycomb yoke, so... This could probably be modified. But seriously, you could 3D print this. I mean, I would use a stable material. I wouldn't use PLA. I would use something else, but... Uh, you could definitely 3D print that. The low rider. That would save some death space, but the uh, the switches. I guess you would have, you would just have the. I'm looking at yeah, you would have the where the switches are flush with the desk. Like if I were to use it, I'd have to lift my desk up because my legs would hit it. Cause it like, yeah, be an interesting setup. But that's a good idea. Definitely good for those situations where you just can't. This is the installation. Where you just can't. You don't have enough desk space, you know. Begin by removing the following four screws from the top of your flight yoke. The hex or Allen wrench sizes needed are two and a half millimeter for the honeycomb and three millimeter for the Logitech. While this video shows the installation process using a honeycomb flight yoke, the process is the exact same for the Logitech or Cytec flight yoke. Hmm. Next, take the mounting bracket and align it with the four screw holes in the top of your flight yoke. Replace the four screws you removed, screwing them back into the top of your flight yoke through the corresponding... Yeah, this was like a very straightforward installation. Sure ...to not over-tighten them. Line up the four holes in the top of the Logitech throttle quadrant with the matching four holes on the right side of the mounting bracket and drop the four included 632 screws through the four holes. Oh, they include the screws for the uh, throttle. Next, that's take good. The four included number eight washers and 632 nuts and secure the throttle quadrant to the mounting frame. Oh, that's practically done. Yeah, that is nice. Please take careful note of the on screen diagram. To mount the frame, three holes a minimum of three quarter inches deep will need to be drilled from the underside of your desk using a 5 16th drill bit. The center of the three holes will need to be one and one quarter inches from the front edge of the desk. Two holes are to be made seven inches on either side of where you want the yoke to be centered, a total of 14 inches between these two holes, with an additional hole seven and one half inches to the right. Be especially careful to not drill your holes through the top of your desk. You can mark your drill bit at the proper depth to avoid doing so. Once you've finished carefully drilling your holes, Take the threaded wood inserts and screw them into the drilled holes using a 6mm hex or allen wrench. Be sure to not over tighten the inserts, as this could strip out the holes you drilled, making them unusable. Now that all three of your threaded inserts. Oh, if I was to do this, I'd 3D print it. Definitely. Take your yoke and throttle quadrant that have been attached to the mounting bracket and attach them to your desk using the three included knobs. These will screw directly into the threaded inserts you installed on the underside. So they include the knobs too. That's cool. To check everything is secured properly and to not over tighten the knobs. So taking it off will be now simple. For, flight. for any additional information, you may visit us at allsportsystems.com. Yes, that's a good, that's a good yoke uh, mount. I like that. That's a good one. Definitely a good one. Also, guys, if you're joining our Discord, uh, you remember the discussion we, uh, if you've joined our Discord, remember the discussion we had on Tuesday um, about future games that we'll stream. And uh, I put up a poll here uh, of what types of games would you guys like to watch and not just, you know, have up. Um, we talked about simulators, single player games, live service games, and survival games. Uh, I put up a similar poll in discord to you guys suggestion uh which asks a very similar question so that we can pull the people that can't uh that can't necessarily watch me live and may have missed the poll uh put the same poll in our feedback channel on discord 
Um, and I, I had more room to explain what the poll is and uh, the poll choices I actually have examples of games like for simulators I have Elite Dangerous, Microsoft Flight Sim and Truck Sim. For live service games, uh, things like Final Fantasy XIV Online and any battle royale or shooter game is considered a live service game. Uh, and survival builder games like Minecraft, Eco, uh, Rust. And single player games don't need any explanation, just single player games in general. This is neat. What is this? So join the feedback channel in Discord, discord.gg slash Buona. And uh, there's a there's a link in there on where to vote. Honeycomb Alpha iPad and keyboard stand. Oh, it mounts on top of the Alpha. Okay. That's for a full size keyboard too. Need something for the mouse. I would I would remix this and add something for the mouse. I don't know what yet. Something that could handle a little bit a little baby mouse. What's this thing? What does that do? It's a good idea, though. How did this thing stream go? Uh, I saw in the title, but I really couldn't pop in, unfortunately. Uh, it went good. It went good. Uh, we did a solid. Um, we did a solid six-hour stream, and uh, I've been talking with things, and I need to. I need to actually. I have to reply to them uh, for some follow-up stuff. Uh, but overall, it went good. We still got the, the links going and we still have the panel up and everything. So if you guys do use things, if you decide to use things.com to search for 3D models and uh, for print files for to 3D print, uh, there's a link in the, the bottom half of the stream, the uh, panels. Somebody asked about performance earlier and I think it scrolled by. What graphic settings would you recommend for Flight Sim? For a CPU that has a Ryzen 5 3600 and a RTX 3060, just playing a game, not streaming it. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's been a while since I looked at the settings, but I can tell you what I remember. Uh, options. So I remember these being some some big. Uh, Limiting the FPS was a big help for me. So if you um, if you don't care for 60 FPS, and I think you should like just shoot lower, honestly. I think if you can get 45 FPS in this simulator, you're doing great. So I would first go into the NVIDIA control panel and I would limit the FPS to 45 FPS. I would do that first. Uh, you can go higher 50 or 60. I would limit it to 45 FPS. That's gonna, that's gonna give you so much performance right there, right? And then from there, uh, I would tweak things such as the detail levels, um, volumetric clouds and shadows are things that I would tweak. I turn, I generally turn bloom. I don't know why I left bloom on. I generally turn bloom off and depth of field and motion blur it off because I don't, I generally don't like it. Uh, and I turn VSync, VSync off because I have a, I have a, a free sync monitor and I, I do better if I turn that off. VSync and free sync stuff. I turn all that off and I just, I cap the frame rate at 45. Um, and if you're not streaming with a 3060 and a Ryzen, you should have very smooth performance, consistent performance. And again, you don't really have to play this game at 120 FPS. Um, you really should aim for something lower in a flight sim because there's so much dynamic stuff that happens when you like fly into an airport. You don't want to chug down the 20 FPS 
especially coming from 120, and all of a sudden you're down to 20 FPS because you came into Atlanta Airport. Uh, you want to keep it as smooth and consistent as possible, and I think I think 45 FPS is like the um, 45 FPS is like what I aim for. Uh, right now I'm at 30 though because I stream. 45 is like, yeah. Have you ever played My Summer Car? For me, it was the best ten dollars ever I ever played. The very first reading would take you four hours to do a simple thing. I heard about it, but I have never played My Summer Car. Never played My Summer Car. Honeycomb was teasing an official iPad mount for the throttle, but I'll probably never see it'll probably never see the light of day, just like the rudder pedals. Oh, okay. Under desk mounts. Oh, these seem more practical. Cause these you can you can control. Hey, you control where to put the play. Yeah. Just print three of these, huh? One of each bracket required mount using a suitable wood screws. I use 12, 6x, uh, 5 and 8 inch, 5 eighth inches. I recommend 3 quarters inch or longer. Be cautious not to over torque the screw or you don't snap the layers at the screw holes. Uh, you may you may require a larger form printer to print the angle to fit your bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Perfect, thank you very much. Oh, I'm glad I helped you. I feel like my mouse went to a different sense when I went to this game. This is Logitech software. Sometimes it automatically does stuff that I don't want it to do. Yep. CRJ700. This is the last time I streamed when this, when this airliner came out. Hey, Matt, to the choo choo, to the choo choo, to the choo choo, the choo choo. Yeah, I heard that uh, Fly by Wire have a, they have a separate entry from the default Airbus, which is cool. And I think my liveries, I think I uninstalled my liveries. Not sure. Let me see if I installed them. I think I did. Nope, I didn't. I did. I did. These are included. So they're, they're not on here. The, I, I remember I took the, the Buona Air liveries off a while ago just because of troubleshooting. Guess what? 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 You're at home. Oh, are you an Igmanui? I think I heard you say something about you didn't know where the Buena boat was. We're at the, we were at the last communico. Wherever that was. I forgot the system name, but that's where the Buena boat was. You can you should bookmark the Buena boat. That way you'll know uh wherever it is. I thought we had a squadron bookmark for it. Maybe we don't. But welcome home, man. You've been out in the black for seven billion gajillion years. <laughs> welcome back, man. Over a year for real? Wow, man. Sheesh. Hey, 
It's the Buona Boat. Have they improved live weather at all? Let's test it. You know, you know something's gonna break, so I might as well test something. Not because of the game, it's because of me. I just break stuff. <laughs> Seven billion credits in expiration. Well, I'm proud of you. That is crazy good, man. Whoa. Seven billion. Seven billion. That's what a B chat. Seven billion credits. That's actually nutty. So I'm looking to, um, I was, I sent something to my wife and I'm, I'm like looking to change my diet of what I eat to be a little bit more healthier, even though I don't eat, I don't eat that bad to begin with, but it's like the things I need to eat cost more money and it sucks that prices are going up for everything. Uh, it's like all the food we, the, the food we can afford is like the stuff that's really bad for you. So it's like all the, what's it, what are they call the processed grains, the processed meats, um, the processed flours, like white rice and white stuff like that. All that stuff is that it's the cheap stuff, right? And it's like, I gotta stop eating that stuff or stop eating as much of it as I eat. We already cut like the sugary drinks out and all that stuff, so that's cool. Um, cause I gotta look out for my health. So, I'm also gonna probably be counting, uh, cutting back calories again, which I did. I did that for like five years straight, one year or one, one spell. I was using, uh, my fitness pal and, um, I was just counting calories. I think that's, that's the best way I can, the best method for me. But uh, it's like the stuff we need to get just costs more. So I, get, I think just cutting calories will help with the price, too. So like I said, on white rice, we're going to be getting, the you know, the, the better rice, the yellow, the not necessarily yellow, but brown rices and stuff. Lots of chicken, uh, no processed meats. I'm not even going to say red meat because finding red meat here is nearly impossible unless you find a butcher and they those are all driving um and just know you know with fast food here's the thing with fast food i, I do we do have healthy options for fast food here right so i could like live off chipotle and just get like the um just get the bowls with like the uh, cauliflower rice and just get, you know, that could be like a really low calorie thing. Uh, we also have some like chicken, some like healthy chicken places. Uh, and they are freaking expensive. Yeah, I tried the carb thing three times and it does that. That's not the lifestyle for me. I do better with counting calories. I do much better with just counting calories and just have a calorie deficit. Just long term, it just works better for me, which I generally do, but I haven't been I haven't been logging my stuff lately. But lately, the type of food I've been eating since we've been trying to like cut back on costs, it has been awful. It has been absolutely smurfly awful. Where am I at? Uh, my camera's... Oh, there, there you go. I don't have camera set for this. 
Well, that's awkward. I guess we got to set that up too. Remember that guy in the elite that made 1 billion mining and at the time before the mining boom, that was amazing. No, I don't wait. 1 billion in mining before the mining boom? I don't remember that. I think I missed that. I think I missed that. Um My cameras though. I'm sad. Just out of curiosity. We're gonna load the CR the 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 other airliner. The CR I keep calling them CRJs, the, the other airliner. We're gonna load that up and just to remind myself what my cameras are, because I've matched them up with X Plane and it's been a while since I played, so I wanna I wanna remind myself what they actually are. So we're gonna go ahead and load that plane up. CRJ seven hundred. Just load that one up. Um, I think it was these gates that I was at before. There we go. This will remind me what my cameras are. There was a guy who posted 1 billion in profits mining in the Elite subreddit. And everyone was amazed. Then later we could do that in about six hours or whatever. Wow. That guy probably quit. You know what? I, w I wouldn't blame him. That guy probably quit. <laughs> that guy, he probably left the game. This is actually almost done. Uh, it's getting near the top already. He probably has 200 billion now. He really liked mining. Man. That is amazing though. 1 billion mining. Cuz I thought mining in the elite before the changes was better than Eve, which ain't saying much. Cuz it was more hands-on. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, that's that, that's that. Okay, my cameras just aren't working. Where, where? I know for a fact I set up some custom cameras and they're all gone now. Wow, I am. I am shook. I'm about to boot up X Plane to get my cameras. Hey, Dag, welcome, man. I'm doing good. People focus too much on credits in Elite. There's a lot of people who do. There are definitely a lot of people who do focus on it too much. And the thing is, is that they only do it for the wrong reasons. And so when they get a lot of credits, they're not satisfied. Like reverse ninja, he can just keep going. His quest for credits never ends, so that I think that's 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 a good way to do it. Um, but there's some people who like I need to get this many to get a fleet carrier, to get a ship, to get this, to get that, and then when they get everything and they got a lot of money, they don't know what to do anymore. It just depends on the person, but I, I definitely agree that the, the allure of larger ships is a problem in the elite. Definitely is a problem in Elite. <laughs> All right, there was some keys that I set to set cameras. I don't remember what they were. I think it was control and the number. Control shift in the number, I think. Or right control shift, that's what it was. Yeah, low custom cameras are still on my numpad, so the loads are there. I think save custom camera. Yep, 
Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta boot up, um, I gotta boot up x -Plane real quick. Cause I wanna, I wanna match them to x -Plane. And I don't remember what they are. Uh, I post a few pics of the screenshots in Discord. Nice! Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's a lot of money. My documentation of significant systems in a Word document, color coded and everything. Are you serious? That's a year of ex exploration, by the way, guys. One year of exploration. One year. Hey, Rank Law, welcome. Yeah, we got to boot up. Uh, we got to boot up uh, X Plane here. Just so I can get my hotkeys. I kind of, I kind of think I know what they are, but I don't remember. Don't worry, guys. Almost 5k hours in the game. I still don't have rank to get a cutter. <laughs> That's not that bad. But Cutter Drift is amazing. Reverse engine is right. Uh, Cutter Drift. It is a sight to behold. You just you just like coast and you're like, oh, I guess we're just not going to stop. Nope, we're just not going to stop. Just, you just keep going. Like I am thrustering that way. I'm OK. I'm going that way, but no, nah, we're not doing this, you know. Okay, A350, and let's go KJX. I don't, actually don't care. Same gate over here. Gate A9, conform. I just want cameras. I calculated that I visited 5,100 system totals. Wow. Apps are smurfing amazing. That's a lot of money, though. It's a ton of credits. <laughs> this is so funny. There's so many supports you can't even see what I'm printing. Just looks like a giant support wall. It's actually Lucio behind that blue curtain. I've got a spinny bar on X-Plane. I'm afraid to click because I might get the not responding. There we go. Just be patient. And things will load. That's what my mama taught me. Psych. This is the A350.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I should have made it daytime. Uh... Yep. Okay, so Zero is the main pilot. Let me write this down. Okay, so zero is pilot main, one is main screens, two autopilot, three is throttle cam. Yeah, he's been out there a long, a long time. All right, four is left wing. Five is underneath. Six is right wing. Again, guys, I forgot these, so I'm just jotting them down. So when I go to uh, flight sim, I can just make them the same. Seven is overhead. Eight is um. I guess eight would be MCDU or uh, flight planning, flight plan view, and then uh. Nine is just outside. Yeah. Okay. So I just gotta match uh match flight sim to that. I don't know why I lost all of my cameras. I think the A320 camera files are in the same directory as the the mod so i think when i upgraded it overwrote them <clears throat> i think that's what happened not positive So I'm launching uh, Flight Sim again. And we're going to fix the cameras. Cameras are very important to me. They kind of make or break the experience. Now that I've gotten used to them. Yes, that's, that is enough to make a to buy a carrier. Yes, it is.
a moment of silence for the Smeaton runs. Hey, welcome uh, N1 Customs. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, rips, meet, and runs. Yeah, money's much better these days, though. Money is much better to make uh, in um, Elite Dangerous. Especially the combat pilots. Let's get these cameras set up. So this will be zero. So I think it's right control. Okay. Right control is up and down. So how do I go up? Space? Yeah. Okay. Control alt. Crap, I forgot how to get the default view back. I guess that's good enough. Uh, control Alt Zero. That'd be the first camera. I just bought Flight Sim and I need some help. Like, where can I talk to AT ATC real people and stuff like that? I've heard of VAT Sim, but I don't know how to work that very well. Um, I haven't done that either. I don't know how to do VAT Sim or PauseCon or anything like that yet. Uh, I would recommend, yeah, I think YouTube will be your friend. I would search for VATSIM guys or VATSIM newbie guys on YouTube and uh, follow those guys or something like that because I can't, uh, I can't really speak to that. All right, main screens, let's go down a little bit, go up. Let's go with that. Control Alt One. So we go zero. Why didn't that work? Thought it was Control Alt. Oh, I'm using a numpad. You're supposed to use the numbers when you do this. Control Alt One. Okay. Yeah, so now I can go. Ah. Now I'm gonna mess up the default view. I kind of like where they do the these they they do the default view, but we'll do mine. Control Alt Zero. So one zero. There we go. Okay. Two is autopilot, so that'd be easy. Just go here, zoom in. Control Alt two, zero, one, two. Zero's off of that one. Ha ha ha! 
that's like a temporary camera, so. Uh, one and then two. All right, so that's auto pilot. Three is throttle cam. So let's start here, go over here, move to the right. I like to be able to see like all of that right there. Zoom in. I had to be able to see the, uh, all of that stuff. There we go. So that's three. Zero, one, two, three. Actually, a little bit, up, a little bit like that. Two, three. All right. Four is the wings and underneath and right wing. So I got to do some hackery to get that going. Uh, then seven is overhead. So let's, uh, let's go zero, look up, go to the right, kind of do this, go down, move it to the left a little bit. All right, I think that's good. That'd be seven. Where these temporary views come in? Uh, two, three, and flight plan view. We'll do this. That's good. So that's eight. And then outside, uh, we'll have to hackery for that. Okay. All right, we got basic cameras. I don't have the outside cameras. Um, and I try to remember how you do it. You have to, you have to, add, you have to hack the uh, the settings file for that. I might have that backed up. I don't have it backed up. All right, I think the wing cams are just gonna have to wait. We'll just do, uh, we do end. To go to outside cameras and insert. There's some other keys you can use too. Okay. I think if I just use end, that'd be good for now. All right, cool. So now, oh wow, they changed some of the text up here too. Bot one. As if I remember how to boot this thing up. Nice. Stroven beacon, seat belts, no smoking. All right, they got the beeps going. APU master switch. So if I go to the um, throttle cam, I should be able to, actually, I could just come down here. Let's turn these up. Uh, turn up the ECAM display brightness so I can see things. And I can see the APU booting up. And then when it's ready, I'll start up the other stuff. You can do this uh, screen here, this screen here. Oh, I set up. Oh, wrong one. Okay. 
to the uh, olive palette as well. On oh, the olive palette, the um, co-pilot. Okay, cool. So APU is available, so we'll turn the AP, AP, blah, 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 APU bleed on. And uh, if I recall correctly, it's pretty much all I need to do up here. Hey, no Mel, welcome. How you doing? Just notice this is off. It don't matter. You're very sleepy. Really? Is it late over there? Oh, you're still playing that bad game? I mean, you're still playing that game called Kingdom Hearts. Oh, so that's keeping you up. Hmm. Look at all them supports. All right, we gotta we gotta get a flight plan going. Oh, I gotta update my uh, Arac in Simbrief. I've done it everywhere else. Unlock. It's ten thirty. I just didn't sleep much last night. Oh, was it because of the chair? It could be because of the chair, huh? The chair keep you up? From the excitement, I mean. I can't type. I'm going to Dallas. A three twenty in fly by wire. A tarnation is that, bro. They're all doing that little loop de loop. Except for that one, that one going straight in. I'll do the first one. Give me some some time for mistakes. So, you gonna go to sleep or are you gonna stay up even more? Are you gonna fight the sleep or stay with Kingdom Hearts? That's the real question. Hmm? Hmm. Full passengers. For some reason. Uh, oh no, I just started a new save for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Final Mix. Did you finish 3 though? Or you just got bored? Be honest with you, I forgot where the Simbrief import is.
I started on the wrong difficulty, so it was a bit too easy. Oh. Oh. All right, new request. Okay, just simple add that. It just came back to me. I was like, I just go to a knit request and get everything from my uh, sim brief. Okay, get all that. This is spoiling me. When I go to explain, it's not gonna do all this. <laughs> this is spoiling me. All right, what what am I missing? Wind temperature. Can I have a camera where I can see both of these? There we go. I didn't actually see any discontinuities, but I didn't do any, uh, didn't do any arrivals yet. Departure. Simply said. <clears throat> You're going to pull up your Twitch? I I was considering pulling up the old Twitch to stream of the Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough, but then I remember Zinkro will be the only one watching. Oh, don't even start with me. Don't even start with me. Don't even start with that. Don't even start. Runway eight. Uh, Sid is jet and two. Via caps. Insert that bad boy. And um, I go to arrival. Eighteen L. I think I might get Chipotle tonight. From what we were talking about, because uh, my wife did cook, but I don't think it's ready. But I'm like starving right now. Uh, Barry. No via. No, it's all direct stuff. Insert that. All right, now we check our flight plan. I was a little bit off there. Wait, no. There's a bunch of craziness in the beginning there. That looks clean. Let's 
It's about as close as I can get. All right, cool. I think we're ready. Does the pushback module still work? Let's see if it connects. You guys can't see this, but this is a little thing I got up here. Oh, it's connected. Nice. Still works. Well, you know, this thing works. All right, let's go to 40. Uh, what is our climb? Our cruise altitude is going to be 360 flight level. Let's hit our uh, autopilot button here. Flight level 360. Uh, that's all I need to do right now. Okay. So now I'm going off of memory. I'm going to forget something here. Strobe is on. We're aligned. APU is on. I think we can push back and start. I'm not. I'm not forgetting anything. I'll have to call the tug first on there. I have an updated Navigraph. Whoop, that's the wrong thing. Wait, can I see this on the tablet now? It's the wrong way, chat. Thanks, Tug. All right. Uh, there it is. This is looks like it's a little off centered. Okay. Uh, ignition start. The N2 is rising, so I did that right. All right, let me check Navigraph while the engine's starting. Hey, we got a new version. No Buona Air livery. I took them off a while ago to troubleshoot some issues I was having, and I haven't put them back on yet. Okay. So let me load my flight here from Simbrief. Uh, open charts list. 
All right, we gotta go to runway eight, which I turned the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay, chat. Start up the other engine. It's okay. We'll just take the long route. Should we have our seatbelts on? Yes. The seatbelt light is on. Turn this up a little bit more. They changed the noise. Sounds different. Sounds good. Starting up the other engine now. normal and we'll turn the APU bleed off and APU off I think we're ready to go we're about to find out so parking brake off and let's go I have to move my desk down don't I Three. Got to move my desk down a little bit because this joystick's a little, little high. So turn right there. Take off in crash position, huh? Okay. All right, buddy. I think our print is done. Not positive. I think it is, though. Nope, it's not done. 18 minutes. Oof. That frame rate, though. Run a little fast here. Let's slow down. Crack me up, we take off in the crash position. Okay, we're gonna hang her right up here. This is runway eight on my right. I apologize in advance if I forget something. It's been a while since I've flown. And I will forget something, trust me. It is going to happen. Going at a blazing 25 FPS in Jacksonville.
Today we're going to Dallas Fort Worth. Get this all lined up here. Okay. I think I got everything going. I don't think I missed anything. Um, flaps. I probably missed that. I did miss flaps. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been very embarrassing. Alright, let's do it. Toga! 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 Did you get clearance? I don't have to worry about ATC. I'm not doing VAT sim or anything like that. And V1 and rotate to do. Landing gear up. I'll apply it on. Flaps up. That was a little early. I just don't want to forget. No, that's where the flaps went down. That was way too early. All right, climb. There we go. Hey, Lipset, welcome, man. Chat, show some love to chat. If you have some love to chat, appreciate it, dude. I forgot to unmute alerts. I'll replay it. We'll replay that again. Thank you, man. Just in time for a one air takeoff. Nice. I'll reinstall the liveries after this flight and uh, see if they break anything. Now we're getting flaps. That we're airborne. Oh, I didn't do the TCAS stuff. Uh, crap. Um, I think TCAS is over here, right? It's like the RA. I'm thinking about something else, not the two guys. I'm thinking about something else. There's something I'm forgetting that I, did, I do I do down here and I didn't do it. <laughs> that thing's going nuts. Turn on some floodlights. Oh, here it is. T A R A. That's what I was looking for. All right, we're over 10,000, so we're gonna... No, it's 18,000 for this thing here. Okay. I think I got everything going. I was a little nervous there for a second. 
thought we were going to crash chat, but we didn't. Hey! I can see things emerge out of the, uh, out of the supports there. As our Lucio's coming to life. On our 3D print. Okay, let me uh, look at my charts here. Go to my destination. There we go. Open charts list. We're approaching on 13R. I forgot what the runway was. 18L. That was way off. 18L. So we hit Gretsch on our glide slope at 4,000. Well, the glide slope is at JC, but our approach. Okay. We'll just keep that up over here so I'll have it in my reminder brain. Put it on the other monitor here. And zoom in on it. There we go. The successful start calls for a Buena Air ad. I think you're right. Taking a break, I'll be right back.
I'm back guys, thanks for waiting. I realized I forgot to turn on flight director, so that's on now. But overall, I think we're alright. I hate when it does that. It's a little smaller, so I'm going to keep it up here for now. I will do a point raffle. No, let's not do that. That's Actually, I do need to change this. This might mess up the flight, though. I always hate going in options in the middle of a flight. Uh, airplane engines, miscellaneous. Man, that was like super loud compared to everything else. Yeah, that's better. A little better. Looking good, Billy Ray. Coming to altitude now, slowing down. Um, I'm not sure when uh, TLD is. Do they show that here? That little arrow thing? I think they do. Oh, that's why I didn't start stream readers because uh, I had to update it. I was like, where's my stream readers? Yeah, when I launched it before, um, it needed an update, so that's what happened. background color just make opaqueness completely opaque fixes that awesome now I can start stream writers I was wondering why I wasn't going now I know Knowing is half the battle. Place three rogues. Okay. Rogue would be under melee, right? No. Assassin. Assassin wanted to the rescue. Eh. Is this supposed to be live weather? I kind of hate how the camera's not centered, and I can't 
move it down. In this view. I can do it in other views. Once I get that set up, it'll be, it'll be ready, but... And the default external camera is just like... It's just gonna rotate and it's gonna be like in the bottom third of the screen. Drives me nuts. Okay, now we're getting to the print where we actually can't see the top of what's happening. Oh, is it done? I actually can't tell if it's done. Yes, it's 100%. It is done. Cool. The print is done. Let's go see how it turned out. Head is so small. Ought to be bigger head. Scratch that, scratch this. Yeah, see so if we can get these supports off without breaking anything. Okay. Let's grab some tweezers here. These will work for now. Underneath this head. Some separation. these weird why are these things bending so easy I'm talking about my tweezers okay I got the supports from under his head he's <laughs> just a little loose of your head there but so my uh, tweezers were like bending now I'm just getting the other supports off now. It's a matter of working your tweezers underneath the contact points and it just stays to snap off from there. It'd be a lot easier if this thing just didn't do that. They didn't bend like that. They didn't used to do that. tweezers when I first got them they weren't as derpy as they are now it's starting to come off okay. it's practically off In the flying saddle again. Yeah, that's fine, but it did leave a mess. Shards went everywhere. We're getting there. Just gotta get it off the back now. Look at these other tweezers. I'm done with these. This crap. I don't know what happened to these. That's the reason why I use these more now than the grease. Okay. And I'm gonna grab this here. Insert underneath. 
Back to. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. But and it just flew off. <laughs> I've tried not to get like pieces of stuff to fly all, all across my house. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I literally just vacuumed in here yesterday. And, uh, okay, cool. Let's do that. So I've got support pieces on the base now to remove. That's it. It's just support, just fly. it's just pieces of support flying all all across my uh, room in here. Okay, this is gonna be a pain about this base, I think. Oh no, it just came right off. That part did. Done. Yeah, next time I print this, I am not doing that on the base there again. But this is taking as long to take this little piece off this base and it took out the whole thing. It's coming off, it's just taking this time. I ain't got the best tools. See, what I'm trying to get off is like the crap down here on the base. But it looks good. Came out pretty good. You can kind of see it from afar there. But there's still some crap on the base that I got to take off. It's kind of annoying. can't see chat by the way so I'm coming back in there in a second yeah, I'll have to get that later we'll just have to get that later because I don't want to crash my plane all right let me wrench this off so I can reset so if I find something else to print we can just start it remotely just made a mess again. Alright, let's clean this off. Coming back in there now. All right, I'm back over here. this okay so where are we at we're not at TLD yet yep. nope all right we're good report your DME I don't know what that means I'm not on VAT sim if you're wondering or POSCON or anything like that Too low terrain. Too low terrain.
Too low. Terrain. There we go. Okay, so you see... Let's get this crap off of my mouse pad first. Uh, it came out pretty good. I just got to clean off the top of his alfalfa thing there. Uh, and there were supports on the back. But they don't really... You don't really see any kind of uh, residue from them. I think the only thing I got to work on is down here. This is what was causing me grief. That piece of support there and that piece of support there inside the Overwatch logo. They were being a pain coming off. So I got to I got to get some tweezers on those and scrape those off and then it'll be done basically. Um yeah, it came out pretty good. The Lucio from Overwatch, the uh hippity hop skin. Pretty good. Pretty good. What do you guys think? I know I know Barton says I don't even know who that is, but I think it's a pretty good one. I gotta snip that thing off, it's driving me nuts. Pretty good detail on his uh, boots too. I really like the the detail on the boots and the uh, and the rocket thrusters on his uh, skates. They're not booster skates. It's good detail on this model. All right. On to the next print. On to the next print. And I got, I got, like I said, I got to get this cleaned up tonight. I'm gonna try to get that last bit of that filament or uh, uh, that uh, support off the bottom. And then, if I can't get off, I can't get off. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, and then we're going to take pictures and throw it up on Instagram. And on um, Twitter and all that stuff. Okay. Right, do I want to do something from Photos Men again? Do I want to go to uh, Wexter or do I want to go to uh, Eastman? Hmm. I'm in the mood for their stuff today. I've done most of the stuff from Eastman that I like. I haven't done Wonder Woman. Not crazy about the Wonder Woman, though. Not crazy about it. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's just I'm not crazy about it. We did Captain. We did um, we did Vader. We already did Thanos. Um, I think we did just about everybody Marvel. We've done one of his Batmans. We haven't done a Superman. We haven't done Eastman Superman yet. We did the other Superman that we found on uh, Thing uh, Thingiverse, but we haven't done this one yet. Does this need supports?
5% infill, 0.4 nozzle. The lower wedge part needed some custom supports. Okay, so he said the lower wedge part. So I guess I'll just do like here. Wind Connor, I don't know what that means. W and K Hunter, I don't know how to say your name. I don't know what that means. You keep saying that. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you can hear me. Without V tip. That's kind of big. You said the lower part of the V tip, so I'll do down here. I'm not going to do all of it. Actually, we'll, we'll do like up, up till here. Okay. And he said, uh, I'll do 10% infill. Point two detachable. Slice this. Yeah, that's plenty. Print it. Okay, so it's like our descent is around uh, P O W N D and Wookie. <laughs> up here so we got a ways got a while so it's warming up now getting ready to go Going to uh, oh wait, it's not warming up. I was just uploading it. My bad. It's not even printing. I forgot to click the print button. There we go. Now it's warming up. Thank goodness I got Octo Print here. I didn't see the temperatures. Couldn't see the temperature screen on the little LCD is being covered up. Now it's warming up.
And this is a Superman from uh, Eastman that we're printing now. Lucio came out good, though. Happy with it. Not happy with the, the base part of it. But uh, I think it's mainly because my tweezers are terrible. I gotta get better tweezers. Yeah, it was nice to see Jazzy Jeff again. I didn't know he was on Twitch. That was cool to see him. Multiplayer seems stable on here so far. I don't think I've DC'd any times. And the people that are flying, you know, near me, every time I've looked, I've seen the same name, so I don't think they're DCing. So that's good. Means I did something right. Let's check out where we are, Navigraph. Let's pin this first. So we're still flooring over Florida, Panhandle. That was the ocean you saw to my left there. And, uh, yep, heading over to Dallas. We're not even halfway there yet, though. I'm not. I, I. I didn't even comment on that, Jared Blaze. I didn't. Even, I didn't even. I didn't even comment on that. Thanks for the bits. I didn't even comment. I was just like, I'm just gonna be quiet on that one. We're just gonna. We're just gonna be quiet on that one. <laughs> oh man. What? Mountains or update. Please update it. Thank you.
What? I just clicked OK on something. Where is... Why won't you let me log in? <laughs> I want to get locked out. Is there a way to show the password? I don't think so. Whatever, dude! I'll just try again later! Sorry, Chad, I was checking something out. I had to read that. And I'm officially done. Okay. I wish my printer overlay button worked. Gah. Sometimes I don't understand some of these plugins. It's like my bar reader OBS tools just it doesn't connect to OBS anymore. And it used to do that randomly, then I would restart and then it would reconnect, but now it's just like, no, 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 I'm just not going to connect, boy, no. There's nothing you can do about it, boy. It talks to me like that, by the way. Let's try something here. That's a different thing. Let's put something in here. Um, CPU usage? Update WebSocket. Oh, that says update WebSocket. Is there a new version of WebSocket? I can't do that while I'm live, obviously. There might be a new version of WebSocket. Oh, oh come on, mouse cable. Why you got to be all over my keys? I don't miss this. I actually don't miss this. <laughs> OBS WebSocket. Uh, when were you last updated? Go to the GitHub. Releases. February 10th. 4.90. What do I have? WebSocket settings. I have...
That didn't help. Doesn't tell me the version. Only use this release with OBS Studio 26.10 or above. February 10th. I may not have installed this. Let me let me download this installer real quick. Just see if it gives me an underscore one and it did not. Yep, I have 4.80. So if I update WebSocket, it may solve that problem. So I didn't see that update WebSocket error until I tried to add a new button. But that's a relief. That means I'll get it back once I update WebSocket. We get to watch us lose very slowly here. Very good. By very good, I mean no. Just start a new map since I'm at the beginning. Can I do a rogue again? Sure. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, again, we have to go to eight here. We're at KH06, and we have to start descending before Woogie, the 27,000. So let's see if this uh, calculator works. Uh, performance. TOD calculator, current altitude, sync. Target altitude, 27. Oh my gosh, don't use those numbers. <laughs> yo, wait, yo, yeah. All right. Uh, wait, distance, wait. 27,000. Go. Sink. Enter. Sink. So, 27,000, 40 nautical miles out. According to that, this thing. And I'll dispatch OFP. Hey, they got the OFP here. I'll turn this thing up. The brightness, I mean. I was assuming there was a button to turn up the brightness. So I'm getting this weird sheen on here. Very strange. Like the shadowing doesn't work on it. Completely. Chat, how you doing today? Welcome to the stream. I want to thank you all for coming by and being here today. We are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator flying. Uh, we're in an A320 Airbus from Fly-By-Wire, the A320 NX mod. Just got the latest stable version here. We're flying from Jacksonville to Dallas-Fort Worth. And we're about one third of the way there. And while we're doing that, we're 3D printing. We've already 3D printed Mr. Lucio from Overwatch. And now we're 3D printing uh, Superman. This is a Superman bust. Let me show you uh, what we've already printed. This is Lucio from Overwatch. There he is. Printed at 0.2 layer height, so it's not going to be the best quality, but it's acceptable with a 0.6 nozzle so this could be better but that's the equipment I'm using right now uh, I got most of the supports off I still have a little bit of goop down here to get off of the base but I'm gonna do that probably off stream because I need a good set of tweezers and we're using the blue moon filament from uh, printed solid Jesse PLA 
the blue moon. This is the darker blue I have. I also have a hatchbox blue, which is lighter, but this one's a little darker. And we're going to be printing for this. We're going to be printing this one probably till I run out. Yep. So enjoy the flight, enjoy the stream. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for coming by. And we'll do another point raffle here, get people some points. The gambler or not. Okay, let's get let's get a time left on this one. I forgot to do that. Uh, this says that this will be done in approximately four hours and forty five minutes. So we may not see the end of it on this stream, but I'll definitely post the final results on Instagram and on Twitter. And they'll be in our Discord too at discord.gg slash wanna. We do have a three D printing section section on our Discord where I post final images of all of my prints and the community does as well. We discuss 3D printing, we talk about it all the time. If you're at the flight sim, we also have a flight simulator category. Yeah. So you got the cool time lapses working? Yeah, we're almost there. We just gotta tweak some uh, focus settings so it doesn't jump in and out of focus. And still have some uh, last minute uh, Retraction settings because there's some under extrusion going on with it But other than that, it's looking good. I Mean I could cheat and just do two prints You know do do one print don't care about the quality and just just record the time-lapse and then do a second print with good settings and Only you guys will know That's yeah, very wasteful actually very wasteful, especially if the print's like a nine, ten hour print. Very, very, very wasteful. Let me tell you. Yeah, this view just change things up a little bit. No, I haven't been recycling any any filament. I've just been throwing it away. Throwing it in the trash. Stop working. Whoops. When my mouse and everything went away. My tablet, uh, the Twitch stopped working when I updated it. I might have to log out. I just get a blink following screen. Yeah, error loading following channel, follow channels.
Could be a bug. I can't even get. A, I can't even log out. Like that screen's not even coming up. So I might have to nuke the data for the app and then just re-log in. No, let's just do that. That'd be easier. We'll just nuke the data for Twitch. Twitch. Would that be under applications? not under the Twitch application. What would that be? I forget what that screen is. iPad storage, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So let's do, no, don't delete that. I just want to delete the data. Documents and data. <sighs> delete app, this would lead the app and all related data, whatever, let's just do that. We'll do a fresh install. I was trying to just delete the data, but it didn't give me that option, so. Good evening, flight sim crash. Uh, no. No flight sim crash. tablet back it up I might have to reboot it it's acting up hasn't been rebooted in probably like 10 years I'm kidding it's only been like five years Just gonna restart it. Come to think of it, I probably didn't have to delete Twitch, but whatever. Here we are! <laughs> Clean this up a little bit. That's good enough. Did you turn off and on again? Maybe. Load it right up. Oh, now I gotta log in to Twitch again, which is kind of annoying, but. Twitch live game streaming. Kind of annoying, but whatever. This is where we are! Beep, 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 beep. I 
I want points. Open. <laughs> Following. You are not logged in. Not now. Wow, this looks different. Oh, I am logged in. What? How am I logged in? Appearance. Dark thing, please. Oh. I guess I didn't delete the data. I didn't win? What happened to my rigged? No. Man. All right, so we're about uh, 66 nautical miles from the next waypoint. Uh, MCB. And we have to start descending at Powd. Well, before Wucky, about, according to the calculator, I think 48 nautical miles is what they said. The calculator here. 62 nautical miles. Wait. I hope I didn't just tell it to do that. Okay, I didn't. 62 nautical miles away from that, we'll tell it to descend. Okay, I got Twitch working again on my tablet. Death space over here and Casa de Buona is decreasing at an alarming rate. It is getting kind of cluttered. Of course, we got like joysticks and hodas everywhere. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. 15 seconds. I want to join. But wait, I can't. Unless. Unless. Yes! Gambler! Noise! And I'm broke. <laughs> and I am broke. Yes! Just like that, chat. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm okay. Don't, don't, no need to call the, the authorities. It's fine. Not percent work. I think you're just on a cooldown. You guys see they're making a He-Man remake? Netflix, uh, they're doing an animated remake, thankfully. I was hoping it wouldn't be live action. The art looks good, but we'll see how they do.
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad this animated it, because live action, I would have been turned off. Immediately. I would have been turned off immediately. I finally watched Invincible over the weekend, I'm a fan. Yeah, Invincible was entertaining. Very dark and gro and gory. Kind of that threw that that caught me by surprise when when it got you know dark and gory. I was like, whoa, wasn't expecting that. But then I didn't know anything about it, so. Yeah, it made the boys look like the Care Bear movie. Me neither. Me neither. Okay, cool. The natural ASMR of an airplane will put you to sleep every time, chat. That's why whenever I do flight sim streams, I gotta have some kind of caffeine in me. Otherwise, I'd be like, how y'all do? Beep, beep, beep. Over speed, over speed, over. Beep, 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 beep. Too low, terrain. Too low, terrain. <laughs> huh? What? Very, very relaxing stuff. Yeah, it is pretty much white noise until I do this. What? 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 Oh, your printer's here. Ooh. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm proud of you. One of us. One of us. One of us. Oh, that's big. One of us. Let me just copy this. Transform. Make things easy. Copy, transform. Transform. Copy, transform. Go to you. Paste, transform. Boop. There we go. I just have to move it down. We have now edited our other shot. One of us. One of us. One of us. I like to think I helped contribute towards making that decision to buy that printer. I always like to think that. When people come here and share that they bought a print. I'm like, I like to think that I influenced that just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Hmm. You're one of the main reasons why I want one, but I just can't afford it. I got you. I understand. 
You just got your purple mattress. Let me know how it is, man. I'm in the market for a mattress. Like, I need one bad. 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 If it weren't for taxes, that last stimulus check I got, well, they got a mattress. But that entire check had to go to taxes. Cause that's that's the next thing on our list, man. We need a we need a new mattress like really bad. Yeah, the only thing preventing me from getting purples um, is uh, my wife's taste versus mine. Because uh, she prefers a different mattress type than I do. Well, uh, let's just say I'm more flexible. Because the stuff she likes, I, I generally like too. But the stuff I like, she generally doesn't like. So I have to. we have to find something for both of us. Yeah, sleep numbers are really expensive, though. Oh, wow. Ideally, that would be the thing to do. You know, the, the split seat, uh, the sleep, the sleep um, number beds that are split in half. But oh my gosh. It was like two grand minimum. They're, they're real expensive, dude. Oh, I'll definitely throw up a mattress fund for real. I'll do that. I'll do that without hesitation. I'll do that. You don't have to convince me to do that. That's more important than a chair to me. Because our mattress is really, really old, like super old. And it was like bad six years ago, probably like more, longer than that, like five at least i think minimum like seven years ago it was like rate we we're ready to replace it and we've been we, we couldn't afford to get a new one and uh that we've had that one a long time because it had like a five-year warranty and we got a new one like right at the end of the warranty <laughs> It needed though. They they sent someone out to inspect it, to inspect the mattress. And they were like, "All right, yeah, we'll get you a new one." So I got a new one, and that was like after we had it for like five years. I think it was more than that. It might have been ten years. We had had it for a while, and then we got a new one, and then you know the, the warranty don't go that far. So <laughs> it's like you, know, you got it once. Um. So yeah. Oh, I can't sleep. I used I used to be able to sleep in the futon. I can't do it anymore. If I do sleep on the futon, it has to be a nap. It has to be a nap. It has to be like a hour and a half, two hour thing. Cause then the pain the pain will wake me up. I'm like ow. What have you done? Alright, where are we at? Make sure I don't pass by this. Last couple times I've streamed uh, these flights. 
I have missed my descents, and we've had to do Buona Vomit Comets. <laughs> so we gotta make sure we don't miss our descents. Even though this is a longer flight, so... The last one we did, it was like a two-hour flight. Like a two, three-hour flight. And, uh... Yeah. What flight are we doing here? This is from Jacksonville to uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Jacksonville to Dallas Fort Worth. So I think it's like five hours, four or five hours. Oh, sorry. I got caught up in the message. So we 3D printed uh, Lucio from Overwatch, and now we're 3D printing Superman. Uh, this is a... Uh, not Wexter. Uh, not Photo Cement. Gosh, I can't. The names I'm usually forgetting, I can't remember now. Uh, this is Eastman. This is an Eastman bust. Uh, this is a Superman bust I haven't printed yet. I did print one, another one, but this is a different one. And uh, that's printing now. Where are we flying today? Uh, we're going from Jacksonville to Dallas Fort Worth. And right now we're at, uh, let's see, where is Navi uh, Star? Navigaf. <laughs> Excuse me. We are over, uh, coming over Louisiana now. So we've passed the halfway mark. Oh, I forgot Sim Toolkit. I knew I was forgetting something. Fine now. Is it connected? Ooh, they changed the UI. What's it? Wait. Come back. Where'd you go? 
Connect the sim. Oh, they changed the UI. You can see the uh, you see the waypoints. Oh, I like this a lot. I can't resize the window though. Why won't you let me resize the window? There we go. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, can we connect the sim? Oh, we can. Okay, we're here. Wow, I like this a lot. I didn't know they updated this. Wow. Oh, this looks good, Chad. Look at this. I'm impressed. It even has the uh, the, the the flight level stuff. The recommended. Wow. Apps are smurfly amazing. I love it. Okay, Sim Toolkit. I see you. It's got a little bar up here. I see you. I see you. I wonder if they did anything with the uh, overlays. Streaming. Oh, the overlay is the same. I wish they would update this. They could really, really do some awesomeness with this overlay, but they just left it as is. Maybe because there, nobody's really said anything. But since you can customize it, they probably, you know, don't care that much. Dude, I like this flight thing. Wait, go back to the other screen. Wait, how do I... No! How do I go back to the thing? Flight summary? Oh, it's flight summary. Okay, okay. I love that. They got the OFP here as well. Oh! <laughs> Load sheet. That's really convenient. What's the reference card say? Okay. Okay. That That's convenient. Weather overlay, auto zoom, auto zoom? Auto follow me. No, I don't want auto zoom. I do want you to auto follow me though. Standard map, VFR map. Dude, they've really done some work. Good Sim Toolkit Pro doing the pro things. Chat, we're gonna take a break. I'll be back in five minutes, all right? Stay classy, I'll see you in a little bit.
high. All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Sorry, I was uh, talking with my wife. And HK, thank you so much for the uh, the tier one 45 months chat. Showing some love. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was talking with my wife, catching up on stuff, so time got away from me. Sorry about that. And we are... Where are we at? Okay, we're not quite ready to descend yet. I'm gonna move this out of the way so this won't wobble. And I warmed up the second half of my coffee cup because I didn't finish it. When I when I moved my coffee, because I had to, I had to I put, bring my controllers over there. I forgot I put it over there because I never keep it over there. So it just sat there and got cold. Cause I never put my coffee on my right side. I always put it on my left. And I do that because just in case I spill it, like my computer's over there and a lot of my peripherals, my stream deck, my keyboard and mice is all on my right side. And on my left side is just desk and you know, part of my monitor. So if something spills, Nothing important gets wet. And I do that on purpose. Fluid damage containment, exactly. <laughs> so I keep my water over there, I keep my stuff. If I got a snack, I keep it over there as well. Oh, that's why. I'm so stupid. That's why I couldn't log into MyFitnessPal. 
I was putting in my username instead of my email address. Zinkro! How woo? Hi. Which what twine of them one for when? I don't know. Twelve went in wine. This twine you woo. I don't know. Are you flying good? I am. I so. Yes. Yes. What are you quint wing? I'm pointing. I bet which great. What? Would you know Tom or well which Friday? Yes. Okay, bye. You woo. You woo. Thank you, Zero, for the tier month to tier one seventy nine months. Uh, I don't even uh, know half of what you said, but I do know that I am printing. I am printing Superman. That's what I am printing. But I printed before this, and you might appreciate this because you used to play this game. But you play with a, you play the guy with a giant hammer. This is a Lucio. We printed this at the beginning of the stream. This is uh, Hippity Hop, the frog skin, Lucio. Yeah, it came out pretty good. This is in the uh, the blue, blue moon. Yeah, so we printed that earlier, and now we're printing a Superman from Eastman. Yeah, this is a this is a darker blue, the blue moon from uh, from printed solid. It's a Jesse PLA line, and yeah, I like it. We're gonna be printing with it till I run out. I'm gonna start doing that. I took that advice from JR Blaze. He's like, I usually just print until I'm done, and I'll probably have less clogging issues and filament issues if I do that. Born logo in it. Oh, that's the Overwatch logo in the base. Which I still have. I have some some fill or some uh, support blops to get rid of that are still there. I didn't get all of it off because I just yanked it off mostly with my fingers. But that's going to require some tweezers, some tweezers. But yeah, this was the beginning of the stream. This was a four-hour print, but I think I was two hours into it. Uh, I was two hours into it when uh, when the stream started. Yeah, some good details, especially on the back. Like I like the uh, the legs. Like let, let me tell you, I printed this at point two layer height and with a point six nozzle. So this is probably the worst quality you can get. So if I go with a like a point one, uh, like a point one or a point zero layer layer height, there'll be a lot less layer lines, a lot more details. And if I use like a 0.4 nozzle or smaller, it'd be a lot more details. But I mean, you can see on the headphones that there's some quality loss a little bit there. Um, but overall, I mean, this was this is just a quick print. It came out good. It came out good. Not paint worthy, but it came out good. Like if I was to paint this, I would I would do I would definitely do a lower layer height and a, and a smaller nozzle for more detail. But right now, I'm just happy printing everything at 0.6 and 0.2. They're coming out looking good enough to put on a shelf. <laughs> Doesn't search for 3D printers. Yep. That, that one turned out good, though. And right now, Superman is printing. We're just... Uh, we got the bottom part of the base and a bunch of supports. He's, he's got like a V... For his butt or for the bust, he's got like a V-shape bottom half. So the author recommended I print supports on that V-shape. So that's what all those supports are in the front. Looks like a giant building. But yeah, it's mostly supports. Oh, and last night, I haven't posted this yet, but I printed uh, Luke Skywalker. From uh, Photos Mint, from the author, uh, the modeler Photos Mint, the Luke Skywalker from the new Star Wars, bearded Luke, drinking alien milk Luke. We printed that one yesterday. I think that was a 10 hour print, 9, 10 hour print, and it came out okay. Came out good. I can't, I, I, I'm, I'm bad at taking pictures lately. I gotta get better. I gotta get better at that.
Like I've been using my camera phone because it's been doing better on the auto setting than my DSLR is. But uh, I just gotta get better at taking certain pictures. Some some of the pictures come out really good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm starting to develop some favorites for uh, for filaments. I am. Like that atomic uh, gunmetal gray, the gentleman's gray from uh, from Prusamet. I like to really like the Jesse PLA white. I was really sad that it was it was like messed up for some reason, but I really like that one too. But I'm becoming a sucker for the grays. I like the gray filaments a lot. I mean, if you look behind the printer there, look at all the all the gray back there. Psyduck on the right side is gray. Uh, Invincible, the Vader. The Superman head that you see, that's the gentleman's gray. Uh, the Gandalf is gray. We got a Hulk gray. Uh, Roadhog in the back is a blue. Is a gentleman the matte gray? No, no, no. You're thinking about the atomic. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the the uh, Polyterra. The Polyterra matte is my number one right now. That's what I printed the, uh, what I printed that? All kinds of stuff. Let's bring up uh, Instagram here. That's my favorite. That's number one. Like, I almost printed that whole spool as soon as I started using it. Um, yeah, this, this soap dish was in the, in the mat. Uh, this was in the mat black. The, uh, iPad holder. Uh, these things the allen allen key handles and the headset or the headphone wrapper thingies the pink was a mat as well and then batman was in the mat this case the nozzle case was in the black i mean was in the mat this one's sus and this was matte as well the captain america was in a, a mat Yeah. I also like this one too. This is the cosmic gray from Atomic. It's got like a little sparkle to it. Same with the shuttlecraft. It was in the cosmic gray. And this is the Prusa Gold. Came out good. I like this. And then there's a jet black. Spider Man looked really good with the jet black. Like really, really good. Really good, boy. How many rooms have your creation taken over? Are you in the market for a bigger house yet? Listen, I I I, I ran out of room in here. And I, I proceeded to put them all over here. Oh crap, you can't see it now. But I put them all, I put a whole bunch of them in the same room as the printer behind the printer. But once I build my second printer, I'm not gonna have room for that anymore. So the crisis is gonna restart. So once the second printer gets built, I'm gonna be out of space again. I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna put anything. Why is there a giant blue dinosaur fighting and why don't I have it yet? What's that? I don't even know what that is. 3D printer room to make... Okay. To make 3D printers. A 3D printer room for your 3D printers. <laughs> Wookie! <laughs> uh, this is possible. It is possible. I mean, we joke that it is possible to 3D print houses. Uh, yeah, let's work on the archer. Get him to 30. Printception. Yeah, we always have the printception discussion when uh, we talk about how 3D printers are made. Uh, what was that? Preset farm. 
printers. We talk about how 3D printers are made, and uh, it's always fun to see people's reaction when you see how 3D printers are made. Here it is. Check this out. No music. I'll speed it up. This is a this is a this is like life goals. So in April 2015 he had 15 printers. February is 40 printers. May 75 printers. May 2016, April 27. This is how Prusa scaled up basically. It takes 27 hours for one printer to print all the parts for a printer. Printerception. Six hundred and fifty kilograms of filament per week. Three tons of filament every month. That's a lot of corn. Look at those giant spools. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are the tools I need. You saw that little exacto knife? I actually I have one of those. I'm scared to use it. I don't want to slice my finger. <laughs> I don't want to slice it. Alright, we're going to start descending after this turn. Satisfactory in real life. You got it. Here comes the turn. Hey! We're turning, we're turning, the old man is turning. Ooh, raffle time. But, blah. Points. I want some points. I need the gambler. Get out of here with that claim stuff. You crazy? Yeah, I saw the 3D Concrete Homes thing on a tweet. They're talking about doing that in, in, in the States for like homeless projects and I'm all for it. It's a great idea. All right, so let's go to autopilot here and I'm in the wrong window. And uh, we're gonna reduce this to 25. Manage altitude. Oh yeah, chat, we do have a poll going on in Discord. Join our Discord and go to the feedback channel. Go into a feedback channel. We have a giant post of what I was talking about on Tuesday stream about what game you would want to watch me play. Right. A game that I would play that you would watch. And if you missed it, you'd be like, I got to watch the VOD of that. Uh, and we broke it out into different categories. Um, oh, I didn't win again? This is rigged. We broke it out in different categories. Simulators, live service games, single player games, and survival builder games. Simulators are like what I'm playing now, plus Elite Dangerous, American Truck Sim. Uh, live service games are like Battle Royale, Shooters, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, single player games are single player games, and survival builder games are like Rust, Minecraft, Eco, etc, etc. Uh, we did the same poll on stream, and the majority of people voted for simulators, and I find it interesting that when I did on Discord, that the majority of people are voting for survival builder games. Yeah. So go vote if you haven't already. Join our Discord, discord.gg slash one. It's a straw poll link in there. Uh, and just go vote. Vote. And then once we, you know, 
we're gonna take that data and then we're gonna move forward and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you guys again. We're gonna ask them more questions, similar questions about what you would want to see. Like the thing the thing that I, I, I think would trigger it is like what would bring out what you want to see the most is if, you know, if you missed it, you gotta watch the VOD. You know. That that not everybody can think that. You know, not everybody will think that, but if you can come to that and there's something that um There's something that you want to see that bad, you know. That's that gives me an incentive to stream it. Why is my fitness pal talking about giving them money? I thought this that's premium. Okay. Okay. They have changed since the last time I used this. Where's my weight thing? Oh my gosh. What was that? No. Yes. <laughs> 2013? Was that the last time I used it? No, 20... 2014 was the last time I used this app. Amazing. Funny you say that. I've been watching more VODs lately. Ooh. Are you been watching them on YouTube or Twitch? Questions. 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 Just out of curiosity. It's not going to affect me doing anything. Out of curiosity. Oh, let me turn on constraints here. Forgot about that. Zoom in a little bit. Go to the screen here. All right, let's drop to 15,000 now. I want manage, manage, manage. Probably 50 50. If I'm not on Twitch, I'll watch on YouTube. Nice. 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 I got to say, though, like if, if I had a choice, me personally, that's the saying that we've been saying in 2021. Me personally, um, I would probably want to do YouTube over Twitch because sometimes I like to scrub. Like I like to skip ahead. And. Sometimes Twitch will hang when I do that. But I really like the Twitch chapters feature where you can just jump to a game. Like if somebody changes the game midstream, you're like, oh, they're playing that. You could just click the little chapter button and go right to that when they change the game. Um, I could do the same thing in YouTube just by putting a timestamp. But I currently don't. I used to. Um, but that's one of the things I like about the Twitch one over the YouTube one. Uh, but still... Sometimes Twitch will just lock up. Also, you have chat on Twitch VODs. That's true. That's true. I don't overlay chat. I used to. But then I got feedback. And I listened to it. And then I took it off. And then I got feedback to put it back on. And then I listened to it. I don't know what to do. Because the, the primary reason why I want chat, like if you look at this screen here, this has chat. The primary reason why I want chat is because of odds. You know, and that's the primary reason why I want chat overlaid. I was thinking about doing like a two line chat since you guys aren't very talkative anyway. I was thinking about doing like a two line chat above that support bar on the bottom right. Just like two lines of chat, just like sticking up from that. And see how that goes. Because you guys aren't very talkative. You, you average like 10 lines an hour. 
What was the feedback to turn off chat? Minimal. Minimalistic stream. Less chat, less overlays, less stuff. Which part of me agrees with. Nothing worse than having a stream with too much crap on the screen. Trust me. I have I have clicked away from streams because they have too much crap on the screen. Am I ready for the ED expansion? <sighs> I'm worried about performance. I'm really, really worried about the performance of Odyssey. Like, I'm, I'm already making contingency plans if I can't stream it. That's how that's how much I'm worried about it. Because the last phase of the beta, I couldn't stream it. It destroyed my computer. I played in a 720p window at the lowest settings, and I still couldn't stream it. It. Ugh. I hope they improve it. It's got to get a hundred percent better for me to stream it. I'm just worried about performance. Like, I can play that game. I can play it off stream without streaming because I'm, I'm a one PC streamer. So if I if I can't stream it, you know, the content's got to go to YouTube. And most times if I can't stream it, I can't record and play at the same time, too. Very similar resources get used. Uh, so if I can't stream, it, it's going to be hard to record it, too. Were they changing so much that affects performance? I don't know. It's untested code. It is unoptimized code. The whole on foot stuff is completely different from what we're used to. So it's unoptimized code. That's the only thing I can gather from my testing. Oh yeah, I need to keep it. I need to update WebSocket. That'll fix my stream deck woes. What news? I have no idea what he's talking about. I was making some assumptions, but I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's talking about. Do you think they were running extra code to track crashes and perform? Yeah, I think they were. I think they were, JR Blaze. Um, for an alpha, you do want to run debug code. So I think they were. But, big but, I have run many alphas and betas in the past that had similar debug coding, and it did not affect the performance as much as this has. This is me running the game at 3440 by 1440, 60 fps ultra to all of a sudden i can barely run the game at 720p all low settings it is extreme extreme so that's why if, if they if they take away debug code and you get like the typical 10 to 20 percent you know, not even 20% sometimes. 10% performance improvement because debug code is gone. We're still left with 90% crap. Like, oh, I can maybe maybe I can run 720p at low. 
Uh, maybe. So I'm really concerned about performance. That's my biggest concern. I'm not concerned about bugs. I'm concerned about performance. Bugs, I can work through. We've been working through bugs for six years. I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I'm used to that. I'm not used to performance. Elite runs like a champ. It's one of the best running games I play. That's one thing that game never did was run bad. It always ran excellent on everything, on laptops, on toasters, on anything. Now, if that goes away, whoo, gonna be rough. Oops, let me uh, see where I'm at. There we got a ways. Now, even if you went into like a, a full combat session, right? You know, like a full, you know, in, in, in the conflict zones, there, there could be anywhere up there's like, there's like 30 to 40 ships, right? It held its own. Now, we've broken it. Like events like, uh, like, like Distant Worlds 2, where all these players got together and we got like a hundred, I don't know how many ships, I'm not going to say a hundred, like 50 plus ships in the same spot. Yeah, the, the engine started chugging then. Uh, but in general, the game did well with a lot going on. I'm shocked they haven't delayed to make sure it's all solid. Well, relaunch is the console launch. So the official launch is, I'm just telling you my perspective. The official launch is the console launch. Alpha was alpha. What's launching next week is beta. And there's gonna be there's gonna be a long beta test between now and console launch. And during beta, they're gonna optimize things even more so that the planetary tech will work on the console hardware. No, this is my perspective. This is my perspective. They're telling us it's release, but it's actually a beta. <laughs> It's labeled as a release. Don't get me wrong. They're they're labeling it as a release, but they're labeling it. If you guys want me to shut up, I'll shut up. Why you put me upside down and blurry? They're labeling it as a release. Next week is going to be a beta, and we're going to beta test so the consoles get a good release. So consolers, you're welcome. You're welcome, consolers. We're doing this for you. The beta! And you know what? I, I'm generally okay with that because it felt like some of the patches that we've gotten, the updates that we got, they felt beta anyway. They really felt beta anyway. So I'm not, I'm not too hurt by this because we've we've kind of been going through it for years. I know that's no excuse, but that's the way it is. We've been going through this for years, so 
something releases we find a lot of bugs we patch it they patch it sometimes they don't patch it uh yeah <laughs> it's all right yeah we're coming up on our approach our 3d print is looking good superman we're starting to see yeah we're starting to see the the bottom of the of the triangle part of his bus which is why we have all these supports so pretty soon an actual model will emerge from all those supports hopefully There will be bugs. Oh, yes. Like, it, it, it saddens me, but honestly, and I'm not trying to dog the game or anything, based on the last phase of the alpha, it's hard for me to recommend that people who haven't pre-ordered to buy Odyssey at launch. It's hard for me to recommend it because of just what I went through. Now, if you would ask me like the first phase or the second phase, it was fine, right? For me, the game performance got worse in the later parts of the alpha, probably because they exposed us to more, right? Uh, I, I honestly think though, it's like, it's hard for me to recommend people buy it. Like I would wait, I would wait a few weeks for real. Because we beta testers are going to find some stuff. And if you don't want to do that, a lot of people don't buy games to test. You know, testing's in my DNA. So it's like, I don't mind. It's like what I did for a living for a long time. So if I got to break something and report it, I'll do it. But not everybody does that. You know, people buy, sometimes they want to buy a game to play a stable game. Um, if I didn't buy games to test, I wouldn't be playing Flight Sim. Truth. <laughs> oh, man. This game. I think this is the most I've troubleshooted any game I've ever owned. I spent weeks trying to figure out crap in Microsoft. Weeks! I'd get off stream and immediately start investigating, wake up, investigate some more. Weeks! Why am I crashing? Why is this breaking? Why? Uh, oh my gosh. That was a very pleasant beat, but I was very pleasantly disturbed by it. <laughs> no, it's not. It wasn't alarm anywhere. There's no alarm. It was just. I think it was letting me know that I'm at the height or something. Oh wait, wait. What just happened? My flight plan just changed. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, what? Hold on, we gotta do a direct to Headman. Wait, why are we going? Wait, what? I am confusion. There's two of them. Uh, my flight plan disappeared.
So, you remember that discussion I had about me breaking things? I'm not even going to attempt that. The whole flight plan went away. All I tried to do was a direct, and apparently I broke it. Oh, well. Yeah, for, the, the flight plan changed for no reason, first off, after the beeps of life. And then, that happened. So, here we are. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to sweat it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to try to fix it. I like forget this. That flight's a bust. That flight is a bust, chat. It is what it is. I don't know why that happened, and I don't care. Why no Tokyo slide? Because the whole flight plan was gone. I, I couldn't even see the airport anymore on the radar. So... I'm like 40 nautical miles out from the airport. I'm not going to scramble to try to land that. That's over. Now, if I was a professional pilot, I would do a, I would do a, a circle around and do all that stuff, but I ain't got time for all that. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, Stella, welcome. How you doing? Whoops, can't do that yet. I was trying to press the 3D printer button and I accidentally pressed the other button. Oh well, chat, it is what it is. You doing all right? I'm doing all right. You doing all right? I'm doing all right. We printed Lucio. See? She's little frog eyes. Luchi yo, Luchi yo, Luchi. Oh, hey, oh. It's supposed to say Rufio chat, but that's I changed it to Lucio. This is the uh, Blue Moon Blue from Printed Solid. It's a Jesse PLA. It's a darker blue than the other one I have, but I like it too. It's very blue. Like the same color as the sus among us guys down there. Oh, let me show you the Roadhog. Hold on. I put in a Roadhog too. While we're waiting. Let me go get it. It's in the other room. All right, I'm back. 
Okay, so I got Roadhog here and the Luke I printed in the same blue. <clears throat> After this fight ends, I will show it to you. But yeah, that's a primary example of why I prefer X-Plane. That doesn't happen in X-Plane. When I'm coming in on the final approach, my, 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 my plane doesn't beep and my flight plan doesn't go bonkers. So, <laughs> I don't know what caused that, but it happened. So, it's a lot less stressful to fly in X-Plane. All right, let's show you guys what's going on here. Okay, cool. So, going to this camera again. This is Roadhog. This is a big one, too. This is Roadhog. And his seated position. I'm going to zoom in on his navel. In the same blue. Very, very detailed model. There's a lot going on here. He's got his gun in the back. Lots and lots of stuff here. Very, very nice model. Yeah. Very little supports were needed, too. I only had to do... He said do supports on his... Uh, uh, it was one of these... Yeah, these 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 little things that stick out here. You see those? I had to do supports on these. That was it. No other supports were needed. Uh, and then we did Luke Skywalker last night. Was it last night? I think it was last night. This is the Jedi, last Jedi version of Luke Skywalker. This is a photo Smith bus. Only supports I had to do was like under his beard, like under here. So it doesn't droop. I had that happen to me once I got to direct my flight plan. I had to go to my direct, the flight plan came back up. I tried to do a direct and it disappeared. The whole flight plan disappeared. So I don't know if I did something wrong there or what. And then Lucio, which we printed today. So those are the three things I've done in the blue uh, today. Yeah, so. That's what we got. Auto mod is blocking short. I turned auto mod off. I don't understand why is auto mod is off. The feature has been disabled. I don't get it. I, and I, I knew something was up, man. Because I had auto mod on the lowest setting and it was doing stuff like that. I'm like, something's wrong. So I turned it off. It's completely off. And I, now it's saying that it's crazy, man. I don't know. I don't know. There's like nothing I can do. I turned it it's completely off. If I go to moderation. I think I can show you this. It's the wrong tab. <laughs> Let me just let me just do this. Level zero auto mod is off. It's like there's nothing else I can do. Uh, there's literally I, I don't know what else to do. It's off. If you go to auto mod, it is off. Level zero auto mod is off. Like, so I don't know what else you're talking about. I got black terms and phases, phrases, but short is not one of them. <laughs> it's so strange that it's doing that. No, I don't have short in there. I looked at that the other day. There's no short. 
No, short's not in there. I unless Automod added it. That's possible. Let me check the block terms and phrases. Let me see if short's in here. Cause it's a short list. <laughs> It's a sh I'm sorry, that was funny. It's a short list. No, it's not in there. Block terms and phases, there's 31 terms. And they all have to do with racist stuff. None of them have short. Permitted terms and phases. Um, There's a bunch of stuff in Permitted. I think Automod added this because I didn't do it. But I don't see short in here either. There's 35 in that. So I don't know, man. This I can't do anything else. Like, I turned the thing completely off. We need to get you a spinning platform so you can do a short videos with them rotating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. You're talking about Lazy Susan. Yeah, Lazy Susan's on my list of things to get. Um, you can print Lazy Susans and you can build them. Uh, but it's best to just buy them, I think. Yeah, we got we had a surprise reverse ninja backstab from the reverse. Came in with a hundred bomb. Uh at the beginning of the stream, so that took us back over 500. Also, we hit our sub goal. We destroyed our sub goal. Absolutely destroyed it. Where's my face? Oh. All right, we'll do another flight. Um. We're not gonna use A320 uh this time. We're gonna we're gonna try the CRJ not CRJ this yeah CRJ seven hundred this time. Uh which I've forgotten how to fly, so we might have to do crap. I don't think this can take flight plans, can it? I forgot to do flight planning in this. Because I was learning it. I took notes, though. I did take notes. Let me see if I can find them. Because I only flew it like two days. Like one or two days. That was a long time ago. That's a working title, CJ4. Uh oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't take notes. I thought those were the notes. And that's for the working title, CJ4. Whoops, I didn't take notes, chat. Rip and peps. Add a permitted term short. Maybe if I delete all the permitted terms. Maybe if I delete all the permitted terms, that'll fix it. Maybe it sees permitted terms and it tries to do its thing. I don't know. Chad, do you know if, if I do a flight plan here, will it work? Let's just try it. We'll just try it. We'll do Jacksonville to Atlanta. From the runway. Let's see if it actually works. Uh, we'll do a IFR, high altitude approach. I'll do 8L because I don't care. That works. Let's see if this works.
Ah, uh, yeah, Max. Oh, I thought it was gonna continue to do that. Chat, my wife streamed for 12,000 hours last night. Give or take. Your payment has posted. Okay. Now I can pay the tax, man. <laughs> That's what I was waiting on. Delete permitted term short. I, I, I Seriously, I have no idea why it's doing that. Please be in here. Is it everything off? Is it shifty or control shifty? Control E? I thought I tried that. Usually you can hear the engine come on when it does that. Alright, we might just have to figure it out. I added short, but it's still blocked at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I, uh... Allow your moderators to view chat and ban history. That's like the only thing I have on in the moderation options is the moderation chat or oh, an unbanned request are on. Which I don't even know why I have that because I pretty much deny every unbanned request. Oh, now it's level one. Somebody changed it. You guys changing it? It says level one, a little moderation now. Somebody changed it. Um, I've completely forgot how to turn this thing on. Shouldn't is another word that thinks it's bad. What's going on? <laughs> Let me check my mod list. Make sure nobody's been hacked. Who hasn't been here in a while?
I don't have a very I don't have a very big mod list, so this is easy. All the block terms are gone now. Wait a minute. That's not cool. Who deleted the block term? No, the block terms are showing up for me. Don't touch the block terms. That took a while for me to build. Do not touch the block terms. Don't touch that. All right, I see I see the block terms. You show zero for block terms. Well, are you seeing this in moderator chat? Let me turn this crap back off. It could be moderator chat that's broken because I still see them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're not supposed to see them. I have them set to private. That's why. Like, for example, I'm going to turn one on to public and see if you can see it. That's why. All right, you should see one block term now. In theory. I haven't set the private, the block terms, I mean. I pretty much haven't touched that since JTV days. I think I've had like three. Okay, so it's normal, it's normal. Okay, I thought I made, I, I really thought I made a checklist for this. Let me, let me go back in time here. I have like a zillion tabs for Notepad++. I have like a billion tabs for Notepad++, so it's like, I've got checklist for the Zebo 737. A320. Settings, no. I may have just closed the tab by accident. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure I wrote this down. Or maybe I put it in a, wait, 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 wait. What is this working? Oh, this is working title. Patreon goal. <laughs> Dude, I didn't. Rip and Peps. I still have my camera saved. <laughs> That's cool. My cameras are still saved. That's a good thing.
I remember there wasn't a lot you had to do up here, though. It's like you had to turn a couple things, the battery master, and I think there was like a couple of other things. But there wasn't a whole lot you had to do up here. Okay, I don't know which one I set to this. But control E used to work in other planes. I don't know if it works in this one though. So I, just, I just hit control E there and I heard a beep, so that's good. I think. So the engines might be turning on. It ruins the fun, but I usually do autopilot and then take over. I'm lazy that way. Well, I might have to do autopilot to turn it on. Because I can't do a cold... I remember when I was even talking about this, that I can't... I didn't know how to do a cold start. How did I do it when we streamed it, though? I don't know what I did when I streamed it. It's been so long. Cause we did do we did do some flights in this. But when you start on the runway, it doesn't start the plane on. I thought I did control E, I really did. You just wasted your money, dude. The 3D printer show. <laughs> it's actually showing at the bottom right. I think you have to click the tablet. Oh, is there a turn on everything over here? I think you're right. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Ready for ta- well, wait. Ready for taxi? That's what it was. We just clicked ready for taxi. I hear it turned on now. I think. Yeah, it's booting up now. Okay. So I wonder if it put the flight plan in that I put in, in, in the at the beginning. It did not. Sad faces were had that day. Y'all dampener. Wadi. 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 Where the deuces of y'all dampener, chat? I forgot. Does it not have a y'all dampener? Am I going crazy? I, I could have sworn it said y'all dampener off. Y'all damper. I ain't crazy. Wadi! Whatever. It's gonna stay on forever now. But we are gonna learn how to do a cold and dark in this plane, don't worry. We pay good money for this plane. How about this? Wait, do I have a flight plane in here? No, I don't. I can add one. Okay, Jax. Just right. Okay, everything froze. Stop freezing. There we go. Okay, Jax. I think this was the only thing I had to learn how to do. And the destination is KATL.
I think this thing has a sim brief import. All right, so I got to turn the camera off. My wife is bringing me much needed vittles. One second. Much needed vittles, which I am about to ingest. And I'm going to eat this slow. Thank you, sweetie. I'm quite hungry. Bring it back to what? What are you guys talking about? Oh, the printer thing? Yeah, there's a... Uh, there is a cooldown on that. I don't know what I made it, but there is a cooldown on that. The printer returns. I'm about to eat! No! Privacy, please! Have you watching me chew? <laughs> All right, chat. I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll have to. Uh, we gotta go back and figure out what we did there. Cause I did learn it, but I I I, I promptly <laughs> we did learn it, but I promptly forgot it. Actually, I can stay here. We can figure it out on the runway. Thank you for the best year, Bloss. My flaps? What's takeoff flaps in this? I forgot. Config flaps. Config brakes. Config brakes. I still know the yard dampener is. Um, exec. Root? No. Secondary flight plan. Um, there's legs. I'm gonna have to break out the YouTube video again. There was a YouTube video I watched of this particular plane entering the flight plan. To refresh our memora. Remember that chat? Yeah. MSFS CRJ7 flight plan entry. How to aerosol CRJ set flight plan manually. you can manually program the flight plan in a CRG 700. Currently it's located. Hold on. Let's go theater mode and just resize. Okay, you're not gonna let me resize you. Uh, at the General Edward Lawrence Logan Airport, which is uh, near Boston. So let's uh, jump into the airplane and let's make sure that we are setting up flight plan. To speed up the things a bit, uh, we're going to put the aircraft in turnaround mode because that will at least ensure that all systems are running. Turnaround mode does that? Do it yourself when using the CRG 700. Oh! It's a lot of work starting the airplane, uh, so I also saw some threads on the internet. We do it, chat. 
Turn around. Wait, am I in the air? Can someone explain what just happened? How am I flying right now? Chat. I didn't do anything. Well, chat, here we are. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't know what happened, dude. I'm looking at YouTube videos. The next thing I know, I'm flying. Chat, remember that discussion where I talked about how I break stuff? Remember that? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. This is gonna be hard. This, oh gosh, okay. I gotta take a bite and like sit back for a couple minutes. I guess because I'm hungry. We're having chicken, rice, and green beans made in a crock pot. So it's so flavorful and delicioso. Okay. I don't know how I got in the air. That it's really complicated. It's not the easiest airplane uh, to fly with, but at the end, it's worth its money. So we're gonna specify the uh, starting point, which is KBOS. It's a lot of work starting the airplane. Uh, so I saw some threads on the internet that it's really complicated. It's not the easiest airplane uh, to fly with, but at the end, it's worth its money. Why are you beeping? I didn't even, I didn't even go in the air, man. How did I get here? So we're gonna specify the uh, starting point, which is cable. How, how do you get there? Uh, starting. Oh, he's doing pausing it. Okay. He's just setting the net up. I got it. Destination, the origin. Of course, you need to put in the numbers, else we'll get an error here. So, again, so we're looking up how to enter a flight plan manually in the CRJ 700 because I completely forgot. Hotel. It's been months since I've flown this, Chira, and I remember looking it up before I flew it the first time on stream. Uh, so what I did but I don't remember any of it. Flight plan using online flight plan uh, so I'm having now my, my tablet in front of me, and uh, I'm not making up these waypoints right. I also use the online flight planners to plan my flights because that's easier. Now there are a few things. There's the alternate destination or alternate destination which you can specify, right? If the mm, for some reason the airport is closed, you can still would say land on a different airport. Uh, the originating runway which you can specify here or you can do it another way and that's what we're gonna do. And you can specify the two field here. Uh, the two field here is used for direct flights. So, for example, if I want to fly directly from KBOS to K Kilo Shera, oh no, sorry, Kilo Charlie Hotel Shera, then I can punch in the numbers here and we'll set up a direct flight. But yeah, that's not what we want to do. So, I'm gonna press execute and. I kind of want to do that. Um, nine. We officially have a direct flight to KTL. Woo! For 
and no legs. And the execute will make sure that the uh, flight, or at least the departure and the arriving information is added here. As you can see, there are no legs here. Uh, that's what we're going to do manually based on the flight plan. So, why do we start with? Well, we start with the K boss uh, itself. Okay, punching in here. I could have swore this thing had like a um, assembly feature. Because I don't remember putting in no legs. Route menu. No. I may have put it into like a flight plan file. Did I do KTLA? No, KTL. Uh. I may have done a flight plan file in the directory, because that's something I do. I might have exported it from Simbrief and then used that last time we did this. I, I, I don't quite remember. Hmm. Load error. Okay. MFD menu. No. I don't need to fly around in circles, fly around in circles, fly around in circles, fly around in. Don't need to fly around in circles, fly around in. Oh my air! Oh my goodness! My my landing gear. I mean, if I was flying the plane, I wouldn't have my landing gear down, chat, because I have control over those things. <laughs> if this is an autopilot, they're doing a terrible job. Let me tell you what, boy. I'm getting on Buena Air. Thank you for flying Buena Air. Nope, I'm not muted by choice. I've been talking and I've been focusing on my food. I apologize for that. 
Um, I I don't think you missed anything. I was singing and some other third thing. Oh, we can see the Superman S starting to take shape. Starting to take shape. Okay, so. We're going to follow the guy's advice. Go over to the tablet. We're going to go to aircraft and we're going to do a uh, turnaround. Turn around. Every now and then I started up with the game. He called it Microsoft Flight Simulator. Turn around. Every now and then I go on Twitch TV and I stream the game and people think it's X Play. Turn around. Every now and then I get in the plane and then I go outside to look around and it's like that Delta logo on the turn around. Oh, my mic wasn't. Uh, okay, I wasn't muted that time. I'm. I'm Sorry. All right, looks like we're starting up. And this looks like the wrong air rack. I did install the new air rack. Using the Navigraph app. What's up, Fully Cooley fan? Welcome. Hmm. So we went to pause the net, right? How do you get to pause the net? Index? Ah, there we go. Wait a minute. And this where. Airport. Oops. K. J. Exenville. Eh. Oh wait, I need to copy that. Wait, how do I copy that? There we go. Pest. We have successfully put in our pausing it. All right, I think the next thing is to go to uh, flight plan. And then put in our origins and then destinations. All right, we're good. Then the next one is uh, Charlie. How was he doing? Can punch it. The cables uh, itself. You can punch it in here. And the X. So he's going to K boss in case he's. All right, let's do a assembly plan real quick so I can have some proper legs here. I don't want to make anything up. Uh, my flat plan, please. You flat. KTL to no KJX KTL. Do I have it in here? CRJ seven. That'll work. Uh, full. That's a weird one. No, we'll do that one. I don't care. Safe flight, OFP. <clears throat> Give me the PD off. Uh, all right, my legs are here. The uh, flight, or at least the departure and the arriving information is added here. Ooh, that Superman S though. Here. 
And that's what we're going to do manually. But no! supply plan. So, why do we start with? Well, we start with the K boss. Uh, Crap, what so do you click? Start with, well, why what do, do we you click? So, what do you click? Information is added. Right. So, I'm going to press execute and the X. Okay, I got to press execute. Execute will make sure that the. Uh, and then you click legs. See, when people give instructions, they just do stuff and they don't say what they're doing. So if you're like looking away or something, you look back and you're like, how'd they get there? But you said, next I click on legs. That would have solved that. Flight, or at least the departure and the arriving information is added here. As you can see, there are no legs here. Uh, that's what we're going to do manually based on the flight plan. So... Why do we start with? Well, we start with the K boss uh, itself. In my case, it'll be K Jax. Can punch it in here. Then the next one is uh, Charlie. Is this a Sid or Yankee? Oscar Tango. So you should have yeah. a screenshot of the flight plan over here. Specified here. And you can see while doing that, it specifies the direction, but also the... All right, I'm assuming that's a SID, so we'll uh, put that in. Which in my case is r 2 r n e d <laughs> Alright, maybe it's Larry. Now that I think about it, it's probably Larry, because the SIDS. I could try Baxley. Oh, why? Okay, uh, Baxley worked. RNA2 did not work. That was a SID. So, I guess that makes sense. The distance between the waypoints. So, the next one is uh, Foxtrot, Oscar, X Ray, Whisk. Alright, my next leg will be. Uh, Larry, L A I R I. Ski Delta. Again, it has the points here. The uh, Riffle, Romeo. All right, keep going. Mm. I think Lars might be the last one, and then you got the the star. So L A R Z Z. Bada bing, bada boom. India, Foxtrot, Lima, Echo. And then we need to go to the next page, and that can be done by, of course, using the next page button. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm doing it. Button. So where were we? Where were we were at uh, Golf, Echo, Delta, India, Charlie, GDIC, followed by Echo, Mike, uh, Juliet, Alpha, Yankee. Then uh, Yankee Alpha Zulu. Okay, I'm done with this. Uniform, uniform. Uniform. Then Zulu, India. Zulu, Zulu. Should you add another India. captain to Streamwriters? Uh, that's. Zulu I don't know. Whiskey 
of uh, I think Romeo. we should be able to take this. I don't know. November, November. Then we again need to go to the next page, and you can see that based on uh, the top here, the top information. Then we go to share our risky Lima. Then to Delta Uniform November uh, Foxtrot Echo. Followed by Kilo Alpha <gasps> Lima Delta Alpha. I think my next guess is that we have to put in the Sids and Stars Here and Departure Arrival button. Alpha. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna wait Alpha. and see what he says. We're almost there. Oscar Romeo Foxtrot. And here you see a uh, pop-up coming, and then it says that's as you probably have seen in one of my other uh, how-tos is caused by the fact that some of the waypoints have multiple, I would say, locations or multiple uh, countries where they are active in. So based on that, what you need to do is you need to check the uh, location and the happen, uh, mouse. So in this case, uh, this one looks pretty correct, the top one. So we simply select the top one here and then it will be added to the flight plan. So it also brings us to page number four. Uh, Tango, Yankee, India. This dude's got a lot of... A lot of legs. My flight's short though. Oscar brought, oh, let's see. Too fast. Oscar, Bravo, November, Echo Echo. And then the last one is Kilo, Charlie, Hotel, Shera. And then you could press execute. And after we did that, you can see that the flight plan has changed here. So let me uh, do that. Whoop. Oh wait, did he put the airport code in last? I didn't do that. Execute. Oh crap, I didn't do that. Uh legs. Next page, K A T L. Now we execute. There we go. There we go. Now, now it's looking more like a flight plan. And after we did that, you can see that the flight plan has changed here. So let me uh, do that. Uh, and as you can see, you can see multiple points being added here. Uh, so let me see if I can zoom a little bit out. And this is the max. So you can see it's a, it's, a, it's not a very long flight, but it's a reasonable flight. So now we did that, we've got the uh, flight plans. But in some cases, you want to use, for example, the SIDs. And the SIDs is the uh, is a route which is probably uh, created to... Uh, we call it SID because we like the short things with more acronyms. Routes. And to do that, we can press the Depart and Arrival mm -hmm. button. And based on that, you can either select the SID or the runway. So for example, if I select runway 04, it has only one SID. If I ah, okay. I like this. Did I execute? I think I did. So if I go to Departure Arrival, there it is, Arnie. Or runway 8. And I think we're on runway 8. Yeah, runway 8. And then I do execute. Oh, I gotta select Arnie. There we go. Transition to Baxley. There we go. So I fill all that in. Execute. And I go to arrival. I do similar things, right? 9L. Via Sith 2. Or how do I... Go up and down. There it is, Sith 2. And... Oh crap, Lars is here. So we got two Lars in here. So I might have to delete one.
Okay. I think I did it. I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's further than I got before, but we'll see. I go back. And I select a different one way. I can You can see that we've got multiple ones. So let's select one of them. And based on that, it will modify the flight plan. And we can press execute. If we now go to the legs, you can see that it made a change. So it added the runway and then added the waypoints, which are belonging to the, uh, to the SID. And after uh, that's being done, it will continue with the flight. In our case, what we did is we added cables, which I might... Let's check out the legs here. Ah, discontinuity. Um... Uh, there was a way to de oh delete. Let me try this. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Okay. Cool. Next page. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. All right. Execute. Might have not made the smartest, I would say, decision. So we can press the Dell and then uh, hit K boss. Oh, let me see if I have two, uh, two of that one waypoint. You have two Lars here. Whoa, and I have a KTL here. What the heck? Wait, what is that? Is that the? Whoa. Okay, I see a bunch of stuff I gotta delete. Holy crap. So we want Arnie Baxley, Larry. Arnie Baxley. I don't think there's a Kimmel in here. Yeah. And then from Larry, we want Lars Sith 2. So we gotta delete these. So it's like everything I put in before. Oh, that's a lot of point. What the heck is going on? What in the world is happening? That's the approach, I think. All that stuff before it, I don't know. If I go to legs and I go up and down, is it gonna... Uh, I forgot how to step through this. It's like flight plan or something. say execute uh, which will remove that certain lag right so now cables has been removed the same thing can be done for the arrival route what you need to do is either press depart arrival twice or you can go to departure then go to the depth ar idx which stands for index you can uh, select the arrival and here you see the same thing so you see the approaches here and the stars here. So I could have did that without the legs, honestly. Uh, I could have just put in a departure and arrival and then just added legs in between. I think the next time I do that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the departure and arrival and then any missing legs in the middle. Really up to you if you want to do that. So we're going to select uh, the second one. And then we're going to that reminds me of the A320. The transition, which is uh, DQ. And then we're going to select the approach. I want to do uh, 433. You can select arrival data, then it will show you all the information. So it will show you, hey, this is the airport. It shows you the glide scope angle, which is uh, three degrees. And it will show you the frequency, which you can use the uh, runway threshold altitude and the bearing. 
And if you go to lags, it will show you uh, the lags, uh, which is, let's say, are currently the lags from our starting point. But if we go to the uh, other pages, uh, you will see that after- So much information out there. Yeah, it is, it is. continue with the uh, route, which we uh, pushed in. So what we're gonna- Cause it's like every plane has its uh, own stuff. It's like, activated, then press delete. Whenever I, I hop in a new plane, it's almost like I got to relearn everything. Execute again. So depending on the- Some things uh, carry over, but a lot doesn't. It might be that you say, okay, hey, the route is not that optimal and you want to change, uh, remove certain waypoints. And as you just have seen, it's really easy to remove those waypoints, right? So let's zoom in again. So currently it goes like this. It, we are departing, then we're making a right turn, then we are continue the turn. Uh, then we're going to uh, Bravo, Lima, Zulu, Zulu, Romeo, and then we're flying back to uh, Crotty. So let me zoom out a bit further. And then we're going to Fox uh, WD. So what probably is uh, a better idea. Oh yeah, 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 the manual stuff, the, yeah. The route. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back using the pages. Here's Coyote, and then we're gonna press delete and then select Coyote. And after we did that, we hit X. I didn't even check mine. I think next time I do mine, I'm just gonna... Um... I'm just gonna put in the what you call this first. How do you go up and down? I'm just gonna put in departure arrival and then Excuse fill in the middle. And then we'll update the flight plan accordingly. So now it's a little bit of make more sense, right? Um, if it'll let thing, me. You can do that. You can do the same thing for the destination airport or the destination, yeah, the destination airport. Um, but it's kind of a little bit more complex, right? Because the tool doesn't allow you to zoom in or out. Um, in other airplanes, you have the option to, I would say, uh, scroll further to the top, scroll further down. Um, but I haven't discovered that option yet in this airplane. Uh, so if you know how to do it, then feel free to post a comment in the in the box below the video. Uh, so I can, uh, can let other people, so you know, we can let other people know, right? Maybe we can also create a new video about that. Uh, one of the other observations hey, nice. that, uh, while playing around with, with this is that the uh, VFR map is populated. So even if you zoom out and zoom in and do all the stuff, it won't show you anything. So be aware of that. You're completely dependent on the screens, which are part of the aircraft itself. Not too bad, right? This is also realistic. Uh, I would say a pilot in a normal airplane also doesn't have a VFR map uh, like, uh, like us in the, uh, the airplane. And um, well, that was it, right? So what we did is we initially set up the flight plan using the FPLM button. It allows you only to set up the origin and the destination. After that, we uh, added the lags manually, which are the waypoints which we added manually. All right, I think I'm gonna start over. We're gonna start over and try it based on what I learned from him. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm not gonna do it with the legs first. How are things? Had to cook up a burger. Uh, we're doing. We're all right. We're learning the CRJ. Uh, flight plan entry. I wish this would go away because I can't see. I think I want to pick. There we go. 17. Superman is looking big. Yep. Starting to see that V shape. That's why we needed the uh, supports down there. Enormous. Taking us a while to get back to the main menu, I must say. I ain't got the money for burgers at all. <laughs> for all. All right. So let's see if we remember. We go. Whoa! That's not what I want to do. Click that guy. And before DMC Clay. Not on my watch. 
Turn around. All right, Krez is turning off the 3D printer chat. Blame him. Didn't even look at the screen. He just came in and just, just came in and just came in and just, just came in and just. Bye. <laughs> Pausing it. I'm just keeping it up all the time. That's why I have it smaller. I had a big because it only showed for a little bit. All right. K. J. A. X. I want to set the position. Wait. I want to copy that and then set the position. And we execute. Wait, no. It already did it. Index. Okay. So we go to departure arrival. Oh, no. We do... Uh, Flight plan. K J A X. How come he's not using the proper notations? Cause he's a noob. Kata al. All right, now we can do departure arrival. Runway eight. Arnie. Via backsling. Execute. Arrival. Uh. I forgot the Atlanta runway. Nine. Nine L. Via Sith to I think it was Lars after this. Yeah, via Lars. That's pretty much everything. It's like, that's all the waypoints. And there's a Larry in the middle. So if I go to departure arrival, or I'm sorry, I go to uh, legs. And then new page up. I got these discontinuities, so let's get rid of those. I may not even need that. I think we're good. And we go over here to range. Oh, I still see some weirdness there. From Baxley, he needs to go to Larry. Uh, so how do I add a leg in the middle? Let's see. So if I go to legs, and I want to add a leg in here. Like right after Baxley. Do I just type it in and hit Baxley? Let's see. I don't know if it's going to go above or below it. L A. Did it, what did it do? Did it just delete it? That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, how can I cancel? Cancel mod. There we go. So that 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 that. that, that. That, uh, that's, that's not what I want it. Um. Oh, wow. And I, oh, no. I forgot to execute this when I took these out. So now I gotta do these again. Take out these discontinuities. There we go. All right, now we're gonna execute that.
I don't think I need the Kimmel. I think the Kimmel's throwing everything off. So if I delete the Kimmel. Yeah, that makes things look smoother up here. Okay, I think that's better. Let me zoom out a little bit. I don't know how to pan this map around. Are we online yet? The plane hasn't started up yet. Or has it? I did do turn around. Why did it turn everything on? I worked before. I would start assisting with add sim options like setting routes this way. <laughs> they gotta work on their map first. I don't know why this isn't working now. Cause this is on shut off maybe? All right, let me do ready for taxi and see what happens. Oh, that's not what I want it. I think I just lost my flight plan. Now my engines are coming on, slowly. I think I gotta redo my flight plan though, cause it turned everything off. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice, That's what I usually do. I usually do ready for taxi, which looks like to be the correct course of action. Cause I got Ingans right now. My Ingans are on. But I don't have a flight plan. Where's positive net? Index? Yeah, positive net. Where's the net? There we go. Positive net. Position a net. K. Ajax Unville. Grab your pace, yo. Everybody's happy. Alright, back to index. We go to the departure arrival. I mean, we go to, uh, how you, uh, flight plan. Okay, Jacksonville. All right. Okay, Atlanta. Okay. Who needs a map? Eight. Arnie via Baxley, execute. Always forget the arrival. Nine. Via Sith, right? 
Yeah, Sith 2. And Lars. <coughs> Execute. I did that Kimmel thing again. Go legs. This is how I memorize. It. I just I just do it over and over again. Wait. I had the wrong one. Until it makes sense in my brain and then I can do it without a guide or anything. That's how I learned A320. Alright, so... <clears throat> so we can delete Kimmel. That's what we did last time. I'll do it again. Kimmel's gone. That should give me a more cotton a more a more better flight plan. Alright, we're just gonna fly this. We're gonna fly this. Um Alright, my cruise altitude is 34,000. Alright, we're going to attempt to do this, chat. Alucard, welcome! Alright, what about my lights? So we got taxi lights on, we can turn on the landing lights. Let's just blind everybody. Beacon strobe is off. We'll turn that on. Make this a little... Wait, no, that's that one. Air conditioning. There's, it used to be a thing to dim the lights. I don't know where it is. Not this one. Not these, but the background of this. It might be down here. Where were you looking to set in cruise altitude? Uh, here. It's usually on the Sembri flight plan. That's flight level 340, which is 34,000 feet. Yeah. Cool, though. Uh, so let's uh, let's push back and see if we can actually finish the flight today. Get push back helper here. Um, everything's on. We get rid of this uh, seat thing here. It's connected. So we're gonna disconnect. I'll put this on screen so you can see it. And I'm pretty sure. I have to go that way. So we're going to back up and go left. So we'll turn off the parking brake. Call the tug. I did that in the wrong order. The last flight did not go well. Yeah, I had some issues. Well, it didn't go well, no. We were coming in for our approach. And my flight plan vanished. Not even kidding. I tried to do a direct. No, not, not my flight plan had vanished. It changed. As I was coming in for my final. It just changed to go somewhere else. And so I went to do a direct to correct it, and then it disappeared. And I was like, forget this, and I canceled it. Tug, goodbye, Tug. <clears throat> yeah, it was weird. I don't I don't know. I still don't know why I did that.
Okay, parking brakes back on, and we're done with this now. <clears throat> Alright, I need lights in here, dude. And I, here they are. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I just need a little bit of lights. <laughs> your flight computer got hat. 10 bitcoins, please, to rejoin your flight plan. It felt that way. It really felt that way. Okay. Um, I need Navigraph now. I think I still have it open. Oh, Sim Toolkit. Let's do this. Uh... Flight planning. <clears throat> Everything's still in sim brief. Fly now. Cool. This is a very cool looking thing. I don't think I can see the airport though. Can I see the airport in this? Taxi? Come on, pop up, pop up. Where am I at? I should pop up here. I, I guess they don't have an overlay for this. If they had an overlay for this, I wouldn't need Navigraph. <laughs> Alright, cool. So let's uh let's get Navigraph up. Oh, actually it's still up here. There we go. Uh let's do a new flight. <laughs> Excuse me. Go here, go to charts. There I am. So this is why I like Navigraph. It'll show you where you are on the chart. And then when you taxi, you can know where to go. See, I gotta go to runway eight. So this is kind of gonna be my mini map as I'm as I'm going along over here. I'm gonna have it on the other monitor. Yeah, we're testing the live weather tonight. Um this is like real time. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, night flights are really awesome. All right, so let's do the uh, parking brake. And let's get her done. This is a CRJ 700. CRJ 700. I have the Delta. This was included when you buy it. I have the Delta uh, livery. Excuse me. That's usually what we fly on to land in Charleston. Largest plane they take, I think. Oh, cool. I couldn't tell you if I've... I've flown on, like... Over... Probably over 400 planes. In total. I'm not making that up. And... Um... I don't even know if I've flown on this plane. Because I really... When I was flying back then, I didn't care about the plane model. I actually didn't care. I was just like, oh, let's just get me there. Oh, is it a big one? Is it a little one? If it's a big one, do I get enough... Do I get enough leg room? Is there a baby? 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 Am I in the middle seat? I don't want a middle seat. Can I move, uh, uh, Miss Flight Attendant, can I move to the exit row? Ain't nobody there. I just want leg room. I've seriously, that was like, I was stressed over not having leg room. I would literally stress. I'd be on the little seating chart thing the night before. And trying to get leg room. <coughs> Excuse me. How tall am I? Eight foot six. Uh, 
Although I might be embellishing by a few inches, I don't know. Sometimes I over exaggerate that. Yeah, I need water. Thank you. <clears throat> but now nah, I'm only like six one, six two, six three, six four, about six five. I'm about six six, actually about six seven, about six foot, not by six five. Don't be smiling at me. Oh, you weren't smiling. I'm smiling now. <laughs> well, it's not the same. No, I actually forgot how to do autopilot on this thing. Uh, where's AP on? That's kind of important. APU ink. Is that it? APU engage? A A AP engage? I don't even remember. I asked my wife to bring me a Halls because I was getting some tickling in the back of my throat with sinus congestion. And um, and I was out of water. So she walked in here and I thought I saw a smile. And I was like, what you smiling at? She was like... And I was like, oh, you weren't smiling. I am now. And I'm like, well, doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter. It's different. On the Great Space Coaster, we'll explore. Thank you for flying Born Air, chat. Thank you for flying, Buona Air. <laughs> so we're going to be learning things while we're mid-air, chat. So I would suggest taking off in a crass position. Might be a rough, might be a bumpy one. Might be a little rough. So I'll be honest with you, I don't, I, there's a lot of things I don't remember right now. All right, rolling start. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, don't, don't do that. I need to unzoom this map real quick. How do I get over there? Uh. Yeah, like right there. I'm trying to zoom out that map a little bit. All right, now we can go. Toga, 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 toga. Oh yeah. Uh, ah! All right, stop. Wait. Okay, go. Okay, now we got flaps. I forgot about flaps. I have no idea where V1 is, but we're going up. Here we go. Whee!
All right, landing gear. Oh, crap. That is a descent angle I don't want to be at. I actually can't tell which way I'm facing. All right, I think it's AP and go. Okay, we're facing that way. If we turn left, we're doing it right. This game is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's a beautiful game, I gotta admit. See, I got my camera set up on this plane. I gotta get my uh, A320 to match this. Cause I have uh, numpad four to my left wing, numpad six to my right wing, and then I have, uh, oh, flaps up. See the flaps there? Flaps are coming up. Okay, and then I got five, like the underbelly. So I gotta do the same thing. There's there's a little hackery you have to do in, in Microsoft Flight Sim to get this. Because it's not like that by default. You actually have to go into your config files and do some trickery stuff, which is stupid. Because the next plane, you can just do it out of the box. Okay, I still got the, the dampener. Yaw dampener thing. I don't know where that is. Where's the yaw? Is it down here? I think it is down here. I remember coming down here to hit something. Yaw damper. Ugh. Wait, did that do it? I think that did it. Yes. YD2 and up. I think that did it. I think that did it. I'm not positive. Dude, that approach angle is frightening me. You can't see it, but it looks like my nose is straight up. But we seem to be doing okay. I think. Or is it doing a circle? I don't know. I think we're doing a circle. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Might have to do a direct to Barney. As soon as I do this fight. Yeah, that's not correct at all. Dear uh, Baxley, exec. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Meanwhile, the passengers are getting sick, Captain. Flight director on? Okay, it wasn't. I mean, it was. Like, what the heck, dude? Okay, now we're going towards Baxley. Good! I think. Cause we're spinning, boy. Okay, you need to level off now. Cause Baxley's right in front of us. It's right in front of us. Okay, something's wrong.
I think it wasn't even on. Wait, was autopilot not even on? <laughs> the lights just came on. I think I think it was off. So where are we going now? Uh We're not going to Baxley. I don't know where we're going. Let's go dur, dur burr. Let's, do, let's try it again. Okay, that's not working either. Uh, you have to hit Nav. I've got to unlearn this Air Airbus stuff. All right, Q and H is screaming at me. Where is that at? Where is my barometer button? Uh. Gosh, I remember I had trouble finding this before, too. I'm looking for the Q&H barometer stuff. I thought it was over here, but it's not. Am I still turning? What is happening? I, th I know I'm doing autopilot wrong, right? Um... But we are gaining altitude, that's the good news. I'm just looking for something that has 2992 like on the screen somewhere. Cuz uh that's where that's where it'll be. I mean the flashing here is what's getting my attention. Does this say here? STD. I think that's what else was a hit, or was it this? I'm I'm pretty sure you hit an STD button to do that. All right, I'm just going to ignore it. We'll figure that out later. It'll be a flashy that we're just going to have to look at. So, chat, things to remember. Hit nav once you turn on an autopilot. That's important. That's like something from GA planes that I learned, but I didn't... I learned Airbuses, and the Airbuses, all you have to do is hit autopilot, and then you're done. Okay. For some reason... The thing now is that I am not heading towards Baxley. I have no idea where I'm going. Honestly, I did a direct. We did do a direct, right? So I hit Deer and I hit Baxley. I guess I can try Lars now. And then do Exec. 
And we seem we seem to be turning to Lars now. I think. Last time we did this, we just spun the circle though. Are we gonna are we gonna stop turning or are we gonna spin the circle again? But oh no, we're leveling, we're leveling, we're leveling. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hey, yeah, what's up? So, I think we're actually on our way to a waypoint. We may be on our way to a waypoint. This is good. I think. Wait, what? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I, I was. I, I spoke too soon. I think we're going back to the other waypoint now. Wait, no? I don't know what it's doing, chat. We're just going to ignore it for a few seconds. How about that? Hey, Superman's coming out. Your giant S is quite visible now on the 3D print of the Superman bust. We're making progress. Alright. Since we're goofing off, let's let's just go ahead and have some fun and bring down Le Viseur. Oh, we've upgraded now, chat. We're in the Matrix. I remember the first time I saw that, I went crazy. I think we're on track. I think we're heading to the line to get to Lars. Instead of going all the way over to Baxley. If I can read this correctly. I don't know what this waypoint is. I think that was just a temporary one. Because it just has zero. Next. I don't know what that is. Then we got Lars and everything else over here. Okay, I can see we're heading to Lars now. I, I couldn't remember where it showed like the next waypoint. But now I see it. <coughs> oh, I've, I've hit altitude. I was like, what happened? There's an airport down there. But I was about to panic, but I'm like, what, what's going on, boy? I think one of the issues I had when I first flew it is that I couldn't get over a certain altitude. It was like it would get to like 32 and then it wouldn't go any higher. And I come to find out that that was a, at the time, that was a conflict it had with working title CJ4. Once I removed that mod, apparently all the problems have gone away. As you can see, I'm not having a problem now. Beep.
Oh, I probably should turn off the landing lights and all that stuff. Yeah, that's 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 good practice, right? No landing lights is high up. And beacons and all that stuff and strobes. I think you need the nav lights, right? Yeah, you need the nav lights with the, the green and the red. Sunset does look cool. Agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> And the moon. The mun! If I hide that guy's name, this is a screenshot. Crap. I will post this on our Discord at discord.gg slash 1a in our flight sim section. Which I have just done. Hey, what time does Mass Effect come out? Is it a midnight release or is it tomorrow morning? Or tomorrow afternoon? So I want to watch it. I want to watch some streams and see how good it looks. Thought it was out, got a notification for it today, but I didn't read it. Uh, it didn't come out till tomorrow, technically. Till Friday. Yeah, you can preload it. I think that's probably what you saw, CG, is that you can preload it. Alright, so if we hit this, this autopilot line and then we turned, then I feel better. Uh, if we don't, then I... <laughs> Internally, that's the sound I'm making. I actually thought I heard two sets of music. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, we're turning. This is a good sign. Celebration Wanda music. Bam, bam, bam. We're oscillating a little bit. I'm a tad bit worried. Am I still climbing? I am still climbing. Why am I still climbing? I'm at 30, I'm still climbing, why? And I set my altitude to, maybe I didn't hit out. I mean. Uh. What? Hehehe. <laughs> Remember I said how I like to break stuff, chat? <laughs> there was something to this. I remember there being a little nuance that I'm forgetting. 
I can do vertical speed, right? And then... Go vertical speed mode. Let's do 2.0. Oh, this, this thing is oscillating to get back on autopilot. Meanwhile, the passengers are hurling everywhere. I mean, I'm dropping altitude now because I put it in vertical speed mode, but... But... If it doesn't stop at 34... Hmm. See, I gotta unlearn all the Airbus stuff. I think that's the biggest problem with coming to this, is that Airbus does things for you, right? Like a lot of stuff for you, and a lot of these other planes don't. So you have to kind of fill in the gaps. Especially if you haven't flown a non-airbus for a long time, which I haven't. Doesn't help that there's a 259 knot headwind blowing me everywhere. So what I'll do is I'll get it to 34, right? And wait, how do I turn on constraints? I don't think I can. I probably can, but I don't remember how. Uh, I'm going to get it to 34, and then I'm going to try to level off. See, it, it beeps to let me know I'm at 34, right? So if I turn off vertical speed mode, is it just going to halt? At 34 now? Let's hope. Keep forgetting I can see more than you guys. I am kind of keeping the altitude now. So I guess vertical speed is the way to go with this. What I was trying to do. With this oscillating, I don't know what's going on. I, <laughs> it's, it's trying to get to the autopilot line. It's just like, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. I mean, I could just put in a heading and just go towards that heading. But I'm fighting, the, I'm fighting the headwind too. So I think that's what's happening. All right, let's let's descend to twenty-five. Uh, trick for all this. Uh, crap! I can't. It won't stay still, so I can't use the mouse wheel to drop the altitude. Alright, and then we'll do a vertical speed down of like 2.5.
Alright, we're gonna descend some now. Maybe it'd be less of a crosswind down here. Also, I hope after it hits Lars that it continues with the flight plan. <laughs> Otherwise, this gonna be weird. But we're getting there. I mean, we're practically... We're getting closer <laughs> to the line. Why? Overspeed? Yes, yeah, overspeed. Okay. Do I have spoilers on here? Pre-ordered my Cosmic Red PS5 controller. Ooh, scared of you. I'm gonna need more spoilers. Okay, what? Stay. Okay, I can improve this by going up a little bit to like 1.7. Reduce the, uh, the vertical speed. I detected the missile? Not quite. Keep forgetting I can reduce the throttle. This is not an Airbus. You don't have to leave the throttle alone. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Just, just reduce the throttle, forehead. Alright, we're coming up on 25. Okay, it looks like vertical speed mode shut off. That's good. That's what I would expect. I don't think that happened last time. Alright, the, uh, the crosswind here is still pretty high. 270, or headwind. Well, this is, uh, this is awkward. Meanwhile, Superman says hi. This is awkward, though. This, uh, this oscillating is kind of weird that it's doing this. All I did was a direct to, uh, Lars, which is one of the waypoints, and it's just oscillating back and forth. It's going back and forth.
I would take a break, but I'm scared I'm gonna be I'm gonna come back to a crash plane. Cause last time it oscillated like this on the A320, the plane ended up spiraling and then crashing. That's what happened. It just ended up it ended up spiraling down. I had a very similar issue on the A320. I don't know if you guys remember. But I think on the A320 we were just leaning to one side a lot. But we found out the problem with that. That was because I had mapped a button that was mapping my uh um what's it called? I had mapped a button that was doing that and I didn't realize I had did that. I guess the proper term would be I didn't unmap a button that was doing that. I had mapped a button to my camera which was which was doing that to the plane. No, it was a uh, rudder. It wasn't trim. It was a rudder. So it was causing the plane to go left. I think it was the zero button was rudder left. So whenever I hit the zero button, every time I hit the zero button to go to my first camera on the numpad, it was doing rudder left. And I remember I mapped that like the first day I got the game because I was using uh, the stream deck to do the buttons. And I was like, just numpad zero. I don't care. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And that's what was making the plane lean. So according to this, we have 0.1 nautical miles until Lars. And then we should go towards the next waypoint. And it looks like we're having trouble getting to Lars. Okay, new HP. I see it pop up. You can kind of see it here on the heads-up display, too. It says new HP, 21 nautical miles. So it is going to resume the, uh, the flight plan. That's good. It's going to try to. Maybe because I got on half bank. Oh, I actually turned half bank off, didn't I? Yeah, I turned half bank off. Looks like we're about to do the same thing again. I don't know what to do, chat. Guess we'll have to look at this some other day and see what we did wrong, but... This thing is oscillating like... It can't make up its mind. I got a feeling landing is going to be even worse. Wait, did we freeze? No, we didn't. Because we just got super level. For some reason. I 
I actually thought the game froze for a second because the, the plane got so level. All right, so when we hit uh, new HP, we're going to drop to 15,000. Actually, I'll do it now. I think my air, my spoilers are still on. I don't remember turning them off. Yep, they're still on. I completely forgot about them. That wasn't causing the oscillation, by the way. That was happening well before I was doing the spoiler stuff. So we're dropping altitude to 15,000 feet. All of a sudden, oscillation stopped. The headwind is still big, though. 274 crosswind, or head crosswind. But all of a sudden, the oscillation stopped. It's weird. But a standard, uh... Standard barometer since we're below 18,000 feet. I don't know how to do the other way around. Well, actually, if I just knew what the pressure was supposed to be, I would just dial it in down there. So that would make sense. And then go to standard once I get to 18,000. Um, oh, we're overspeeding. I turn off the freaking spoilers for 18 seconds and then you start over speed. Or you can just reduce the throttle. Keep forgetting this is not Airbus. Not Airbus. Just throttle back. Just throttle back. Throttle back. I'm gonna put the spoilers back. So these are Star Wars based SIDs. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Star Wars based uh, waypoints. So the last one was called New HP for New Hope. This one's called Force, and then another one's Sith. So it's a bunch of Star Wars based uh, waypoints between Jacksonville and Atlanta. Yes, these are basically, this is IRL, yeah. Yeah, all this data is real life data. And I believe to Alabama, uh, they've got Lord of the Rings uh, based waypoints.
Alright, we're in 15 now. A little bit more throttle. So I can get in that range that the flight director is telling me to be in. Oh wow, you can see that on this overhead too. I just noticed that. A little uh, a little indentation right there is where your speed should be. That's cool. Okay, so let's go down to 12,000 now. Actually, let's just go down to 10. No sense to stand here. And we just do a vertical speed of, uh, of like one. Uh, Zach M. Rutledge with the tier one, brand new tier one chat. Show us some love in the chat. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that so much. Thank you for sharing that $5 with me. I appreciate it. Let's kill the throttle a little bit. Actually, let's do 1.5 vertical speed. 1.5. Thank you, man. Alright, now I need more speed. Going a little bit too slow. I'm gonna hang at this whole uh, managing the throttle and vertical speed stuff now. It's just getting out of the mindset of the Airbus, man. You, <laughs> it's, it's a process. It's gonna take me two or three flights to probably get completely out of that mindset. Alright, we're going to Tizzy now. 12 nautical miles of that guy. At a decent altitude. Superman's coming along nicely. We're coming up on the neck. The chest has been completed. Winding down on that one. Says it has an hour left, so yep, definitely getting close.
So in this approach, we're actually going to do a loop around, so it's going to be quite a long journey. Because we're actually close to the airport, we, but we have to come in and then loop around and come back to the appropriate uh, runway. So we're actually going to pass by the airport, leave it, come back around, and this is a common route I have to take when I when I fly it from Jacksonville. I need to lock these. There's no sense in me having them separated. I'll lock these. I'm talking about my throttle. I can lock the left and the right together with the a switch I have, but I don't know where it is. There it is. Because I don't need to separate them with this plane. Oh crap, let me slow down. Slow down. Going too fast. So we're at 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and turn. I never turned the fast seatbelt sign off. Uh, we're going to turn the landing lights back on. <laughs> Whoops. I hope nobody had to pee. Separated? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. The ATL. Welcome to Atlanta. I'm not below 10,000, so I'm technically not speeding. <laughs> Chat, you thought we were going over 300 knots. All right, I'm sorry, 300 miles per hour. Whatever, 300 knots, sorry. 300 knots is this uh, this low. You're below 10,000, you're supposed to be like at 250. I am speeding like nobody's business. I tend to do this a lot, though. Especially when I know I have to make that, that roundabout route, I tend to just skirt that 10,000 mark and... Go as fast as I can until I can anymore. Yeah, I'm at 20 FPS too, so I, I can feel the Atlanta. I can feel the Atlanta plus the night lights. I'm probably going to drop to like 5 FPS at some point. Game needs a Ryzen Epic 64 core and two 3090s. I don't think they found any any hard. There isn't hasn't been hardware made that could run this game like butter. Even the 3090s chug at it. It's like there's there's no hardware live. Man, I miss Microsoft Flight Sim, don't you guys? <laughs> hey, Buana, how come you never play Microsoft Flight Sim anymore? I always see you on X-Plane instead. You never play Microsoft Flight Sim. Why is that? Chat, that's what we call a CTD. That's a crash to desktop.
But more than X Play, I mean, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim is getting better. <sighs> I guess we're 3D printing for the rest of the stream. Uh, do I play the Ace Combat games? Um, I think I've only played one before. I think it was on PS4. Or was that? It was an Ace Combat light game? I don't know if it was Ace Combat itself. All right, now's a good time for me to take a break because I had missed the last couple of breaks. I'll be back.
All right, back check. Thanks for waiting. That's the wrong scene. We are back, Rooney. I had to stand for a few, so we're gonna turn off the cam while I do that. Yep. Superman's coming along nicely. I I, I moved the uh, I moved the camera up a little bit. Especially after yesterday's print, or not yesterday, the day before yesterday's print. Uh, noticed that it was like chopping off the top of the screen on, on the camera. It's like the heads were being chopped off, so it was like, oh, I'll just raise it a little bit. We can still see the plate, so it's fine. It's a good size bus too. I'm liking this one. It's bigger than the other Superman I have. Well, granted, the other Superman I printed was uh I think fifty percent, so I've I've I begin to I've begun to stop doing the fifty percent thing and I'm just going with full size prints and I'm glad I am. Like, I'm going to have to go back and do that Mandalorian again at, at a full size. Matter of fact, I might do that tonight before I go to bed. I have to dig up the STL, though. Oh, the music. forgot about it. Sorry, I don't have my headphones on, so I couldn't hear it. I guess I can move this joystick back because we're not we're not doing any more flight simming tonight. That's for sure. Not after that display of curb dirt. Good grief, what a night of badness. Last time I had that many crashes, I played Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> I still gotta take a picture of Lucio. Can't forget that. Put up on Instagram. Lucio! How are you doing? Okay, let's put this over here. Ugh. Whoop, what the heck? Why is that being done? Don't, don't be done. Thank you. You know better, don't you be doing that dumb thing, boy. <laughs> I'm running out of space on my desk, chat. So when I have to move move joysticks out of the way again, I have to shuffle 300 more things. And I've cleaned it. It's just stuff. I gotta figure, I don't know where to put all this stuff. Not necessarily stuff or peripherals and Two sets of joysticks and hotas tends to take up a lot of space. Plus, I got my tablet up here, stream deck, two mice, the giantest mouse pad ever, and the biggest monitors you'll ever see. So it's like the space is limited. This print is going to be epic when it's done. Ooh, I'm excited! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this blue is a good color for this. This is going to be the last stream Raiders fight. Because we're going to end the stream after this print. 
thank you all for coming by who participated in stream raiders the numbers slowly went up so i'm glad people were coming by and participating in my stream raiders thank you so much appreciate that Also had a great night tonight so far. Started off really good. Had nowhere to go but up from there. done thank you again for all the people coming by for streamer raiders oh we got a boss fight all right i gotta do the boss fight the next one's a boss fight uh i have no choice i can't just i can't just leave a boss fight there so that will be the last fight <laughs> that will be the boss fight or the last fight Yeah, I, I hate to start, like, new streams with a boss. <laughs> 30-minute stream extension. Oh, boy. Under 50 jumps left to the Buona Boat. Ooh. Gonna get there tonight. I gotta start making plans of what I'm gonna do on day one for Odyssey. Like, what systems I'm gonna be in and... What I want to do first. Because Wednesday's going to be here before you know it. So I'm like, Odyssey is tomorrow? I'm like, I told you Wednesday was going to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get here really fast. Oh, wait, this uh, FanFest is uh, tomorrow, right? Yeah. So... Crap, I got a freak. Mm. FanFest is at 9. Crap. So I'm, I might have to start late if I'm going to cover that. I just thought about the start time of my stream. Uh, are we going to be able to co-stream it or anything? I don't think I saw anything on that yet. Because if we can't co-stream, I may just watch it on Discord with you guys and instead of streaming it here, just stream at the normal time. Yeah, I'll let you guys know, though. Um, if, if we can co-stream it, I might just start to stream a couple hours later than normal. Might start at like four or five. That way we can uh, catch FanFest, at least the beginnings of it, uh, live. That's tomorrow night. I also got to print my custom stuff. I, I was supposed to do that yesterday. The stuff I've been working on that you guys saw. I was supposed to do some test prints of that yesterday. And I completely forgot. Well, the, the, the loop print took 10 hours. So. Oh, PC Gamer did a new world. First look. New World has been beefed up with more traditional MMO activities. The PvP territorial control is still there, but Amazon's MMO now has cooperative dungeons and an in-game PvP mode. 
Now you're talking. Actually, I want in-game dungeons too. And I chose giant or little, 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 little. That's what those games need, man. They, if, if you just rely on PvP and nothing else, they, they're gonna die. They're not gonna stand the test of the WoW. Have I seen the cash shop stuff leak? No, I did not. I haven't. I haven't seen that yet. XP and crafting XP boosts. Uh, <laughs> no. In this way, is this a monthly? In this, does this thing have a monthly fee? Or is it gonna be uh, buy once? I don't remember their business model. Cause crafting and XP boost. Ugh. If it's like Guild Wars, I guess. If it's buy once, I can excuse it. But if it's a monthly fee, I'm gonna be sick. Let me load up the Steam page. I don't think they have a price up here, do they? Pre-purchase. <laughs> New World is already in your library. Well, yeah, I participated in the thing. That means I own it. You might be able to... Uh, Co-stream the showcase is unclear. They haven't stated one way or the other. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll come up with a contingency in case I can't. You had a similar response? I don't want XP boost, man. Like, the only time I could deal... the only Really, the only time I, 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 I have no problem with XP boost is if the game is free to play. Because you're paying for convenience, right? So, that's that's the... That's the mantra, even though I'm not super cool with that, I've accepted it. It's free to play, pay for convenience. But when the game has a has a has a box price, uh, and then they're probably gonna sell expansions with box prices. Uh just charge me a monthly fee, man. Just just uh just charge me a monthly fee. Stream Raiders timer stop. No. I should install the alpha beta and test it since I have access to pre-order from pre-order. Hmm. I didn't think that was live yet. I thought that went live in June. The pre-order stuff. The pre-order uh access. Oh, it's been live. Okay. I guess I was wrong. That was live. That was odd. The stream froze, but you didn't on Twitch. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me go check on this poll. See if uh, survival games are still in the lead in the Discord poll I have up in our feedback channel at discord.gg slash Buona. Uh, let's see. Results. Yep. Survival games are still winning. Simulators are in second place. I'm not surprised. It's interesting though, but I'm not surprised and I, I kind of know why. 
No, I don't kind of know why. I know exactly why that's the case. Alrighty then. I voted for Sims and Survival, lots of cross between the two in some games. Yeah. That's kind of why I turned on multi, uh, allow you to vote more than, for more than one option, because I knew. Either they'd be crossover or people wouldn't mind seeing either or. So I don't want to limit people to one choice. Timer say, let's see. We got on this print, it's at 90%, and it's got 27 minutes left, according to Octoprint. I'll be honest with you, I thought I'd be offline by now. <laughs> So when I when I started this print, I was like, I'm probably not going to finish this on stream, but uh, we'll just post the results to Instagram. And here we are finishing it up. Here we are. Every now and then I get a little bit printy when I print to something on my 3D print. Turn around. Every now and then I, I can't think of the words of the song and I start making up stupid words that fit the beat of Bunny Tide. Turn around. Every now and then there's something that's going on in my brain and then I start singing this song and then I don't know what else to say and then turn around. Survive service Sur service servicelin? What is what? Sur 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 service service land? What? I never heard of that one. I shall Google. Okay, Google, what is service land? Stupid fat habits. Service land. Go. On Steam. It's a sandbox survival simulator. which focuses uh, upon realism. Located in a vastly procedurally generated world, strive to survive the bittersweet life of castaway in a wild deserted island. Learn to use all your wit and strength to confront every challenge that nature throws at you. Hmm. Do we kind of have any hope for New World? Uh, several people are hyped for it. I'm, I'm pretty indifferent. I'm indifferent. Like, I, uh... I don't know. It's a wait and see for me. Today's was Discord's birthday, too. 
They were dropping a lot of Nitro codes on their Switch stream. That was, it was funny. When I last played it, I thought it was average to above average. But, um... I, at the, the last time I played it, I couldn't see myself playing it for more than a couple weeks. But then again, I didn't know, I don't know what's, I didn't know what was available. So it was like, based on what I saw, if the gameplay was similar to that, I don't know how long I'd play it. So that's why I'm kind of like in wait and see mode because they've added so much since then. Due to feedback from people like me, it was like, okay, what do I do? What do we do? What are we doing here? What's going to be the thing we're going to do later? You know, what's in game going to look like? So they flat they they delayed the game to flesh out all that stuff. And uh, the game was play. I mean, it felt playable. Like the last time we played it, it felt like it was ready. It was a very stable experience. They could have released it like that, but I think they chose to delay it to add all the things that everybody said was missing. And based on what I read at PC Gamer, it sounded like it was a good decision because adding some more co-op dungeons and uh, in-game activities is important. Otherwise, you're going to have the two-week players like me. You play for two weeks and never pick it back up again. So, um, to me, that's the, that's the true measure of an MMO. If you can keep players for more than a couple of months, then you've succeeded. You know, the, the one to two week players, they max out everything and then they never come back. So it's like, we'll see. Well, let's see, we got FanFest tomorrow, we got uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey on Wednesday of next week, and we've got uh, Mass Effect tomorrow as well, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition tomorrow, um, there was something else next week, I don't remember. Yeah, lots of stuff happening. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did 
The tactical assault, assault mouse. Interesting. You posted in Discord? The mouse with the uh, keypad. Yeah, I remember. I remember it. <laughs> Built from the ground up. With Yoshi P's blessing. For co-streaming purposes, does it need to say you can co-stream it? If it doesn't say anything, are you okay to co-stream it? Um, if it doesn't say anything, it's a very dangerous thing to co-stream it. Because you can get the DMCA tape down. Um, and yeah, it could be very dangerous if it doesn't say anything. So I like to, I like to refrain unless it specifically says to do it. Um, I mean, we can reach out to Square Enix. I'm pretty sure some creators are reaching out to Square Enix on Twitter and see what they say, because there's probably a lot of people that don't even know at Square Enix. They probably don't even know. They're just like, I don't know. <laughs> They're so busy putting it together. They, they have no idea. So if they don't say anything, I'm going to assume no, because it's really dangerous. I don't want to be, I don't want to be caught in the, uh, I don't want to be caught in the fallout from that. So I'm going to be monitoring Twitter and see if somebody's, uh, asking questions about it. And maybe some of the, the sponsor representatives or community managers and stuff that reach out to streamers, maybe they can pass something along. I'm not in that click, so I gotta, I gotta monitor other people's Twitter. Who? I don't know yet. I gotta... <laughs> I'm going to be looking at hashtags and 
replies, I guess. And Mr. Happy too. Let's see if Mr. Happy's gonna if Mr. Happy's gonna co-stream it. He may know something. That's not his MMO. Uh, that's not his thing. Mr. Happy, one, two, two, seven. Uh, he doesn't have anything up there yet on his Twitter. Actually, I got to get on fishing too. I'm like level 60 something fishing. I haven't done a single. <laughs> I gotta get on the boat fishing stuff. I think the 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 the, uh, the frustrating thing about the frustrating thing about boat fishing is that I never look up the times when the boat the boats come. I always just hope it's there. And then when I get there, it's not. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta wait two hours. I'm not doing it. So I need to plan ahead. Definitely need to plan ahead. Did people close stream the event back in March? Yeah, I did. Yep. They said we were allowed to. You're talking about the, uh, the live letter or the, uh, no, the, uh, the Square Enix reveal event. Yeah, they, they gave us permission to do that one. That one they gave us permission to do. But I don't think anybody's heard anything about this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's cool. That's a really shiny blue. Yeah, it it, it it shines well in the light. But if you don't have any if you don't have a ton of light on it, it can be it can look really dark. This is kind of deception it's deceptive because like I'm looking at some things I have it in blue on my table there. And it's like no, let me let me show you. Cause I think I can show you two different blues I have. Yeah. And uh, just the difference between them. It's deceptive. It, 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 it looks good in the light, but otherwise it's pretty dark. So let me uh, let me do this real quick. Epoch cam. We got to sit down. <laughs> All right, cool. Where is it at? 
Come here. All right, so this is the hatchbox blue, and this is the blue that's printing right now. See the difference? It's deceptive, man. It's like it's darker, right? When it's got when it's got like light on it and stuff, it glistens a lot. It shines a pretty good. But this is the hatchbox blue that I printed this oddish flower pot in, and it's like it's it's, it's a little bit lighter. So it's a little deceptive, tiny bit deceptive. Looks good in light though, that's for sure. Like I have a, uh, I have an umbrella light pointing. You see that light source from the left is actually an umbrella light that's pointing right at it. So yeah, it's it's gonna take good pictures. That's for sure. I'm probably gonna take the picture with that same angle with the light. That's a good angle. You got seven guys in. We're gonna need it. Final fire to the night. Let's take this boss down. My inky dinky archer. Big giant arrows of one shotness. Well, not one shot on those guys. All right, we got uh, 79 people alive. This is good. Only six enemies. I think this it stacks in our favor. Hey, we did it. Boss defeated. Congrats, everybody. GG. All right, we're probably closing on this uh, last 10 minutes of the Superman. Yep, six minutes and 33 seconds to get the top of his horror.
Hey, Cayman5, thanks for the 50 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, I want a full body, please, not a bust. <laughs> I'll look for one. That was the other game, the uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. I knew there was something else coming out this weekend. The Fantasy Star Online 2 uh, New Genesis, that's this weekend as well. That was the one thing I was forgetting. The open world PSO2? Yeah, kinda. There's something relaxing about watching a printing like this. Yeah, it's, it's soothing. It is, it's definitely soothing. Definitely soothing. <laughs> Superman's got that perfect hair. Hey, what's up, X Knight? Superman's got that perfect hair. If you mess up one strand, he is no longer Superman. Get beat up by anything, and his hair is perfect. Because he's got super hair. Die. No. Ladies and gentlemen, who find this? Looks like it's done. So we'll give it a couple of, uh, a little bit of time to dry. Or to not dry, but to uh, cool off a little bit. And then we'll pop those supports off the best we can. I got to get some better tools because my, my little tweezers are done. And I said they're done, they're done. They're like, ugh. I'm gonna show them to y'all on the camera when I get over there. You'll see. They are done. You know, I'll go over there right now. I gotta bring chat though. Let me get chat up here. Uh, chat, Let's see my channel. I gotta bring you guys on my phone. I go in the other room. Okay. All right, I'm going in there now. I got you guys on my phone.
All right, we in here. Let me show you guys these uh these tweezers. These are two I bought with that cheap kit I got on Amazon. Look at this. Do you see that? Look at the edges of these things. <laughs> Look at that. What the heck is that? What am I supposed to do with Look at that. They're like, they're like 90 degrees. That's one pair. And then, these are the ones I've been using the most. But they're, they're getting bad too, man. It's like the edges are like curving and it's like hard to taste. <laughs> so I'm trying to get in between these. Uh, I'm trying to get in between these these the supports and the fingers so I can take them off. But it's like that's what I got to work with. I got I got to find something different. I definitely got to find something different, dude. All right, popped off. That's the pop you want to hear. I just dropped it. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to make a mess over here. My garbage is almost full. There we go. I'm making sure I clean the plate a little bit. I'm gonna do a formal clean of it though. Okay. Oh, I can break this off of my hands, actually. Kinda. A little bit. You guys can see that? See? They're coming off. I might have to use the uh, tweezers at the tip down there. They're pretty much coming up. Nope, I didn't. Just pop right off. I got that point up. Actually, no. I got a cleanup to do. Uh, down at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it. There's some leftover supports down there. I have to peel those off with the crappy pliers I have. If I had good ones, it should be easy. But no. This is going to be an adventure. Yeah, this might have to be like a like the Lucio. I was like, <laughs> I'm just going to have to take these off later. Because it's going to take me a while with these crappy tools I have. I don't know why these did this. I I don't remember putting a lot of pressure on these, these, uh, these tweezers. But it's like, dude, why? Trying to get underneath it. Okay, that's starting to come up, but all right, I got part of it to come up, which makes the rest of it a little bit easier. But that's only if you have good tools. The stuff's flying everywhere too.
coming off is just slowly but surely. And it's flying all over the house. I just popped off. All right, I got most of it. Yeah, I got it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty much all gone. So I cleaned up that rubble there. It's annoying though. Ugh. He's it. All right, I'm gonna come in there and <laughs> got an alfalfa at the top too. I gotta sand that down. All right, I'll give you guys a close up in there. show on the road ladies and gentlemen all right there he is the man of the steels you see all the details there Again, I tried to get the, uh, you see kind of like the, I left a little bit behind there. Little remnants of the support that was down there. And I can sand these little blobs down too if I need to. And then he's got the alfalfa peak on the head. I don't know if you can see that. See that there? <laughs> that's, that's the last layer that it did. So that, that's typical of what happens on my prints. I have to take that off and cut it off or sand it down so you can have the perfect hair uh, I don't see many under extrusions let me turn the lights up a little bit let's turn the lights up a little bit I know I've been having some under extrusion areas on some of these prints uh, I don't see any yet it's like little tiny gaps that if you're gonna paint, you know, you would you would just fill those in with Bondo and sand it, but actually this one's looking pretty good. I don't see any here. I don't see any I don't see any under extrusion areas. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> the back here, and there's some text there, but Oh, uh, it's a URL actually, davideastman.com. I didn't know that was, was, was his URL actually. I just search for Eastman or go to Patreon or, or uh, my mini factory to find Eastman. I love the S though, it reminds me of uh, uh, the uh, Kingdom Come. Superman S. The hair came out pretty good. Practically no stringing. This filament is doing good so far. It's doing good so far. Printed at 215C. Didn't have to go too hot on the temperature. Didn't have to adjust the uh, extrusion rate. It's pretty much set to one. I can't get that off with a fingernail. I gotta just snap that off with uh, some tools. So yeah, it, it did pretty good. 
The hardest part was taking the, um, actually, now that I look at that, is that under extruded there or is that because of supports? I think that's because of supports. Yeah, a little corner there. I think that's because of supports. Superman! Looks good! Alright. We'll be posting pictures of that to our uh, Instagram and to our Twitter. Instagram and Twitter. Here's another shot of it in case you want to see it. See it on this camera with different lighting. You can see this blue, it actually looks brighter than it did on the other lighting. So it's like, this blue is deceptive. Shiny. When did we go to Buana Bus? You got one on the stream right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta cut off the alfalfa. Look at the top though. That is tonight's print. And also we have Lucio, which we printed as well. This was done at the beginning of the stream. Ow. Lucio was done at the beginning of the stream. This is Lucio from uh, Overwatch. Same filament color, a little bit less time to print. It had a lot of supports like all over the front to hold up like his arms and his helmet and stuff. And his backpack needed supports too. So they wouldn't droop. So then it has an Overwatch logo on the base. This is the part I have to clean up. I can zoom in on this here. You see all that crud down there in the Overwatch logo? That's leftover support stuff. That I have to dig up with the, the terrible tools I have. Yeah. So that's Lucio. Superman. Off stream, I printed two more. We printed Luke Skywalker. And this is for people who missed it earlier. We printed Luke Skywalker and Roadhog from Overwatch as well. This is a big one. This one came out really nice as well. Got the belly button on there. Lots of detail. And I printed this on 0 0.6, uh, 0.6 nozzle with 0.2 layer height. So this is not the best quality you can get. This is actually kind of a lazy print. And it came out this well. So came out really good. And then we got Luke Skywalker. The, uh, the, the last Jedi Luke Skywalker here. Which I've taken a picture of this, but I haven't posted it yet. Maybe because his eyes look weird on the camera. It's like, it looks like, depending on where the shadow is, it looks like he has bags under his eyes. Yeah. But all right, guys. I'm going to take my prints and take pictures and post them to Instagram, post them to Twitter, post them to Discord. Exclamation point social and chat connect with our community. Uh, I am Buana pretty much everywhere except for a couple places. So, yeah. Uh, we're actually about to leave. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Old Drum Leatherworks, but I actually got to go. We're about to leave now. I appreciate the raid, though. I'm about to send you over to my uh, wife's stream. Babe, you still streaming? Okay. I'm going to see you guys over my wife's stream. She's playing uh, Scavengers. Fix my camera here. We'll go there next. She's playing Scavengers. Thanks for the raid, man. I do appreciate it. Give me a quick shout out. Thank you. There we go. And I'm assuming you were doing leather over there. Cool, cool. But all right, guys, I'll see you later and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same station. Again, check my Twitter and Discord for what we're going to do for the Final Fantasy 14 um, uh, Final Fantasy 14 Fan Fest. 
I don't know how much I can co-stream. So if I can co-stream stuff, we'll start the stream probably a little late so I can cover that at 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. is usually when I'm about to get off. And we start the stream at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, but if I can't co-stream it, we'll just start in the normal time, okay? Alright, so we're going to raid Pink Sapphire, which is my wife. Playing, uh... She's on break right now, so I'm stalling. She's playing Scavengers. So go check her out, say hi to her, okay? Um, and thanks everybody for coming by. Thank you again, Reverse Ninja, for the 100 gifted subs. Really, really awesome support today. Thank you so much. And everybody else, we took our sub points up to 108 for the day. That is... That's a record-breaking day. That's really nice, really nice. Alrighty, guys. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you all later. Have a great morning, evening, afternoon. Click that follow button if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you later. Good night.